You know, I have nearly 7,000 Insta followers. Wow. But I didn't expect one of them to run into the back of my car. No, but with your RAA comprehensive car insurance, if it's a write-off, you get the sum insured or market value. Whatever's highest. Oh, that's good. Because all claims are handled here in SA, it won't be a hassle for you. Great. Looks like it was a bit more than a double tap. Hashtag dad joke. We do more. Get a quote today. A very good evening to you and welcome to MPL South Australia's Round 19 action and tonight we are live from the Velo Football Centre. Good to have your company through Facebook Live or through YouTube Live. Uh, it's fairly cold and chilly here in South Australia but hopefully the action is going to be nice and hot for us tonight. Tonight, Round 19, the game we're covering is Adelaide Olympic hosting the Campbelltown Red Devils of course. Big clash at the start of today. It was first versus third but Olympic without kicking a ball have dropped to six and we'll talk about that very shortly. As I mentioned we're live from the Velo Football Centre and Round 19 is proudly presented by Velo Lighting here in South Australia. Also don't forget to set RAA always proudly supporting football here in number South Australia great supporters get an insurance quote today from the RAA today's match commentary team or this evening's match commentary team I should say is Paul Pelizzari Rob Peppercelli and Paul Bombardieri it's a very good evening to you firstly Robbie yeah good evening Paul good evening to the viewers that are watching this uh, going to be watching this classic game uh, tonight it is Olympic against Cab I, I honestly think tonight's game is going to be a preview of the grand final Good that's call. going to happen in, in, in a couple of months' time 100%. or a month's time. Yep. And not forgetting both these two teams, um, Olympic coming from a great win on Wednesday night in the FFA Cup qualifiers, uh, going to the round of 16, and not forgetting Campbelltown are on uh, Wednesday night mm. down at the Steve Woodcock Sports Centre. Against uh, Melbourne City, of course, yes. A-League competition. There it, there is, it there. is on screen. Get yourselves down to... The Campbelltown Soccer Club at Steve Woodcock Sports Centre. And, and it's probably easier if you do purchase the tickets. Uh, it's Jimbo, if you can put that up again. Uh, so if you go to events, human, uh, human ticks. Human ticks. Com au slash FFA Cup. Yeah, just like uh, 31st of July, 2019 tickets. Probably the easiest way is to get the tickets that way. And you can walk straight in. It's an easy otherwise way, is it? I think I'd just got to line walk up. up to the gate. I otherwise, think. you've got to line up. I think I'd just <laughs> walk up to the gate. But yeah, you've got to be on Strabat Road. It's all right. Down. Get a Euro stand on the side of the road there and sell some Eurosas to the <laughs> waiting people. Pies and pasties. <laughs> no thanks. Get yourselves down there Wednesday night, Steve Woodcock Sports Centre. It is the magic of the FFA and, and Cup. What a game it was on Wednesday night, huh? Absolutely. Magnificent. Pity, as you said, that the free to airs couldn't see it. But anyway, yeah. before we talk about that, let's go down to our boundary rider this evening. Welcome back, Cotter. It's Ryan Marvejo. How you going, boys? Good morning. Well, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm still stuck at work. Good evening. Fellas, good evening no, viewers and, and also listeners. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm wide awake. Trust me, I'm wide awake. Nah, speaking on behalf of uh, Adelaide Olympic and, and uh, the supporters and all that sort of stuff on Wednesday night, what a fantastic game that was. It was. Um, you know, 2 0 down and, and truly deserved. They really did deserve that win, actually, by the end of it, end of it while she looked at the, at the highlights. But it's. Um, what a crackerjack game we're going to have. We've got a team that's bouncing from Wednesday night, and you've got a team ready to face an A-League powerhouse, if you want to say. Melbourne City, they've got, they've got the cash, they've got the players, so it's going to be a good test for Campbelltown City. They've really set the bar in the South Australian Premier League for quite a few, couple of number, quite a few years, along with Adelaide City. So it's going to be a crackerjack game, that is, at uh, Steve Woodcock. Park. Absolutely. And, and Joe Marlin hasn't rested anybody from today's That's game. That's good. So but so but game. sometimes you rest players that can disrupt. Break the momentum. Yeah, momentum. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you have a look at that lineup anyway, just had a quick. Uh, geese through the Campbelltown lineup, and it's, what a lineup, man! You that's, actually that's forget how strong that lineup. Yeah. you forget actually how strong that lineup is, and then you look at their bench. You got Kirk and Allright and Toure to come on. 
Listen, Jacob Williams. Uh, yeah, as a and Jacob Williams. Uh, listen, <laughs> um, absolute unbelievable squad. Plenty to cover today, boys, and tonight because a lot has happened today. As I said at the top of the uh, broadcast, Olympics started the game, started today in third, and have dropped to six without even kicking a ball. So let's have a look at firstly at round 18 results to see uh, what happened last week. OK, we're looking at the results from last week. Adelaide City drawing 1-1 with Adelaide Blue Eagles. Raiders 4-0. Thump over South Adelaide. Uh, Adelaide United, good win over Campbelltown, the top team, go, beating them 2-1. Uh, Olympic uh, in their match of the round last week, 2-1 winners over Metro Stars. Power Hills drew 0-0 with uh, the Comets and Courtney Kings. They're in good form as well. They uh, defeated West Adelaide 3-1. OK, the majority of the games have already been played in round 19. And, Interesting uh, results too. Absolutely. Mm. Robbie. West Adelaide, equal points with Adelaide City at the moment. West Adelaide 4 defeated South Adelaide 1. Croydon Kings, as I said, still going on their merry way. Bit of an upset. Uh, Croydon 1-0 against... I don't think it's an upset. Okay. Croydon being in great form. Mm, the okay. Blues haven't been in terrific form. But it's their squad depth. We said that from yeah, the start of the season exactly. and now it's getting tested. Comets uh, have been in good form as well. 2-1 uh, winners over Adelaide United in today's game. Raiders 2 defeated Metro Stars. Is nil. that an upset? No, because okay. Metros have been shocking okay. in the last three or four weeks. Parry Hills, two. This is, could be a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a shock. Going for Adelaide trick, City yeah. up third to bottom. But Adelaide City, two defeated... Uh, sorry, Parry Hills, two defeated Adelaide City, nil. And that makes it Adelaide City and West Adelaide, if we look at the table, Jimbo, equal points, second to bottom and third to bottom. So on screen is the live ladder, uh, including all today's results and uh, sitting pretty at the top, Campbelltown, who probably, if they win tonight, unofficially have a hand on the on the premiership, yeah? Just about. I know mathematically. Not, that, ma uh, ma not mathematically. Yeah. Yep. They could, uh, mathematically, they could still be caught. But let's go through that table. Campbelltown on top on uh, 37 points. Followed by Raiders on 32. Comets, uh, they've had a great season, haven't they, boys? Especially the last three weeks. I think they beat... They're uh, hitting their straps at the right they drew, time. They drew with Metro mm. Stars. They, they won 6-0 um, a couple of weeks ago. And a, a good win today as well against Adelaide United. They're on 31. Corden on 31 have been in great form. The Blues are starting to slide a little bit. They're on 31. Olympic <laughs> gone from, what is it? Third, third, to, six third to six. Without yeah. kicking the ball. But if they win today, they can go jump right up to second. So Just that's shows the how tight that league is. Mm. So, so that looks like the top six for me. Yeah. Metro Stars on 25, United on 25, Parry Hills on 24. They look safe. They look like staying in the uh, in the Premier League. But uh, going down, it's between Adelaide City and West Adelaide. And we know South Adelaide are gone. Bommy, had a quick one you wanted to say? Yeah, welcome to everyone. Um, oh, sorry, didn't we... Uh, Sorry, didn't we welcome you? you went straight to Robbie, to the main man, and Ryan. You oh, oh Bomber, sorry. Sorry, buddy. my producer was aiming down to you, but I, I probably should have brought in the Bomber before that. Sorry, he was Bomber. aiming down to me because he knows where the star is. Oh, oh. good Lord. <laughs> good evening, Bomber. Good evening. No, look, uh, I looks, looking at the ladder, it looks like it's um, the top six is almost there. I don't know, you know, in the next two weeks could... Olympic slip up, could Blue Eagles slip up, and then could Metro Stars or LA United, maybe even Parry Hills get into the top six? Who knows? Well, it's a big game tonight, and uh, just speaking of Olympic boys, they haven't lost a game since April this year, and guess who that game was to? Campbelltown. Yes. You can bring the mic a little bit close to your mouth, right? I was, I was just, I was just going to that with Adelaide United. That's a, they, they had their play, they had their fringe first team players in today's squad. So that's a big win for Comets if you look at it. Mm. So, and when's the last time mm. Adelaide City have never made the top six? Oh, that, that's going back through that's the history books now because under Damian Murray's regime, always they, there. they were all not even top six. They were always top three at least. Mm. Mm. So Olympic, a very big game for them tonight. They can jump back into second spot, Rob, with a win tonight. Um, but they... Uh, uh, are on are in good form. Their last loss, as we mentioned, Fantastic, to, yeah. to Campbelltown yeah. back in April, early this year. Would you say if Adelaide Olympic win tonight, jump into second? Would you say first and second? That's really who the two strongest teams in the league currently are. No, I, I think so. It's, it's, I think it's very open. You, yeah. I, I reckon the table's telling us a good story, a painting a good picture. That you would say Campbelltown and Adelaide Olympic are really the two strongest teams currently. 
well, had, on form. Had Campbelltown not la lost last week, I would have thought, you know, they're probably the standouts of the season. But with that loss last week, it's really opened up the competition. Mm. So I think it's anybody's grand final. I like, I like Comets. I like uh, Croydon Kings as well. They were impressive and, and Raiders, against Raiders. Raiders lost 6 0 against Comets and they haven't lost mm. since. So They were impressive against Comets. Uh, uh, the, uh, they were impressive Comets mm. against Raiders a couple That's of right. weeks ago. That's they right. really gave Raiders a bath. Statistics. And. and, and Sorry, yeah. Adelaide United defeated Campbelltown last week and Comets defeated Adelaide United today. So. Read into that what you might. Adelaide Olympic uh, against Campbelltown, their last 10 outings. Uh, well, Adelaide Olympic, one win, three draws and six losses to Campbelltown. Here at home, they got better form in their last five. They've won one, drawn two and lost two. So uh, Campbelltown probably having the wood a little bit on Olympic, but Olympic in sensational form. But... Bit of a bogey side. Maybe their last loss in April was to Campbelltown, and it was 4-1. Oh, yeah. right. Bit of a touch-up there. Speak to you experts upstairs. Olympic... Who, Chappie and Young Pete? Yeah, no, pretty much. <laughs> they're, they're the real experts. Um, will Wednesday night have an effect on today's game on the players that was, you know, 2-0 down to come back? And will Campbelltown have in the back of their head their big game it's against a, Melbourne City? Bit of a How, catch, how's it going to... It's a bit of a catch-22, Today's isn't game it? play yeah. out. I think Olympic will be OK. Um, they had a, a tough game on Wednesday night. I think they're fit and ready. And I think George also did well after the FFA Cup qualifier. We thought there might have been a bit of a honeymoon yeah. period, but mm. bang, they, they came back the next week and won as well. So I think George psychologically has got him up and about. And uh, I'm expecting a good show from him tonight. I think uh, winning form is good form and their confidence is absolutely sky high. Mm. Campbelltown with mm. that loss last week. This one will be an interesting one. Hard to tip. The form going into this, well, Campbelltown of as we mentioned, that loss last week. But prior to that, a win, draw, win, win, win. And Olympic uh, with all wins and just one draw against Adelaide City. So uh, that's sensational form as well. Very hard one to tip, Rob. Yeah, it's going to be hard. But we'll go through the lineups first. Certainly. Then we'll go through our tips. Home team is Adelaide Olympic here tonight at the Velo Football Centre. And, of course, they are Round 19 sponsors of tonight's game. The goalkeeper for Adelaide Olympic, Daniel Vaughan. Gee, I think we Hasn't spoke he been to him. In good yeah, form. absolutely. Mm. Spoke to him last week, mm. and he's pulled off some fantastic saves. This lad also has been in great form. Jacob Butler Bowden. He wears the number two tonight. Number three, Maddie Halliday, back in defence. Number five, David McCreedus. Love this player, David McCreedus. Julian McCreedus. Number eight, uh, Manny Catopodis. Number nine, Christos Punendus. Punendis. Number ten, Ricardo De Silva. He's the captain, Rob. And number 12, Dimitri Tomazos, another great player yeah. in great form. Mm. Paul has been in the starting 11 tonight. Number 16, also in the starting 11 tonight, Ionis Samosas and Christy Vangeli wears a number 32. The subs for Adelaide Olympic, Thomas Brown, number 4. Johnny Karatsis, number 7. Michael Alexandru, that's a bit of a surprise, 23. I think they're resting, uh, Michael. He's had a couple of hard games. And his shoulder from the, the yeah. cup game as well. And so. the reserve goalkeeper of Adelaide Olympic is Nicholas Harpus. Not forgetting uh, Erdeberg not being in that squad uh, due to that uh, red card. He got on Wednesday, so he actually misses the next game, which is uh, this game. Which tonight, I don't mind, tonight. because I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't want to see a quality player like him miss a, miss a big game in the, in FFA, the FFA Cup. Cup. Mm. So that's good. He had a brain freeze, about. didn't he, that night? Oh. You know what, Rob? It's emotion. You've gone through yeah, you, two up. Yeah. I understand. I understand. I understand. You shouldn't be taking top up. That for could have cost him a game. Yeah, no, nah, I almost agree. did. I agree. A bit of a brain freeze, but mm. emotion sort of sometimes gets the best out of you. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the visitors. Top of the table, Campbelltown. Okay, uh, it's a strong squad, as uh, uh, Ryan was saying as well. Nicholas Harpas is in gold. He's the goalkeeper. Number two, is Sean Harvey. Four is the captain. Of the Red Devils, it's Ian Fife. Number five is Matty Mullen. Number eight is Alex Mullen. Number nine is Mark Marino. Ten is Luigi Detroit. What a what a lineup, isn't it, guys? Mm. Uh, Fourteen Adam Pishinari. Sixteen Daniel Mullen. Twenty-two Hoi 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 Who Hoi 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 on the bench uh, for the Campbelltown Red Devils, what a bench as well. It's number six, Dion Kirk. Seven, Joel Allwright. Eight, Eleven is Anthony Torre. Twelve is Jacob uh, Williams. I was going to call him Jacob Butler Williams, but it's not. And the reserve goalkeeper coming out of retirement. How old is he? He must be in his 40s. Easy. Les, <laughs> Les Poyakomi. Goalkeepers as, uh, look at Buffon. I can't believe he's gone back to Juve. Well, what's going on with that? Is it? Yes. Anyhow, that's the lineup for Campbelltown Red Devils. 
The officials for today's clash Ladies is the senior referee the Eric Ford Sestilli. His assistant is Dion yeah, Turner, the and the other assistant uh, is uh, Angus uh, Jackson. Well, we'll see if the adrenaline is still running through the veins of the Adelaide Olympic boys. They are on a high this season. They, uh, I don't know if they've exceeded expectations, uh, gents, but gee whiz, it's all happening for Stav and his crew there here at Adelaide Olympic. So uh, we'll, we'll see how the, the response is from that 2 0 down at half time to, to come and win 4 2, even with 10 men just to add a bit of icing on top of the cake. Good on Adelaide Olympic and Stavros Parisos and Archie. You know, they 10 years ago, they were pretty, they'll tell you they were pretty much the laughing stock of South Australian football. But you know what? That shows any club can do anything if you just got the right people, you got the hard work, you're prepared to sacrifice, and look how far you can bring a club in 10 years. And to so give congratulations a, to yeah, them. And give a guy like George Shonis a go. Yeah. He was an assistant to Damien Murray down at Adelaide City, and he's taken it with both hands, hasn't he? Done a great he job. certainly has. Okay, the players are making their way onto the park. Let's go around the table with the tips, and uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Pepper. Well, you're going straight to me. Oh, where, where, uh, where would you like me to go, mate? Can with you? What a lineup! Ah, uh, hard one, isn't <laughs> it? That is, that is very hard. I might have to sit on the fence. One v six. But I'll go for Campbelltown. Mm. Only because uh, Wednesday night might have taken a little bit out of Olympic, not having Edinburgh there in Campbelltown. They need to shake up for Wednesday night's game because last week wasn't good enough for them against Adelaide United. Here's another, here's another thing to think, think of. I think they'll win tonight. Here's game. another thing to think of when you tip Campbelltown too. It's the firepower. They've scored 46 goals this season and have conceded 25. Adelaide Olympic have scored 33 and only conceded 25. So the defence is fairly equal for both these two teams, but Campbelltown scoring 13 more goals than Adelaide Olympic. Is that where it's going to be won or lost this evening, Bomber? Yeah, I think it's going to be one or loss in the goals. So I'm more leaning towards Campbelltown, I reckon. Mm, one nil, maybe. Oh, he's even given a score. Ryan? I'm going to sit on the fence with this one, boys. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two draw. 2-2, two -two, two. So Campbelltown, Campbelltown draw. I should really be going for Olympics, shouldn't I? Oh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Think about your head. Think about your heart or whatever. I think the carrot of... The form? I think the revenge factor could play a part tonight, the form, and also they need to win tonight because they are in sixth spot, and they'll jump to second should they win tonight. Mm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for Olympic in a very tight affair, and it won't be a 4-1 affair, that's for sure. Ricardo da Silva, captain of uh, Olympic. And, of Going course, into the huddle. Ian Fife, the captain of Campbelltown, 1v6 tonight without kicking a ball. Poor old Olympic have dropped from third to sixth. But a win tonight will propel them back into second position. And uh, we'll bring you up to date with some of those results, of course. Well, all the results today, round 19 completes tonight. It's a beautiful night too. Ryan down there. It Hardly is. No it's breeze. no breeze, but it's got a big chill factor down here, boys. I'll be honest with you. I've got my big boots on to keep my feet Nice and warm. I've got two jackets on underneath, and uh, I'm still feeling a little cold. I don't know if that's old age or just uh, oh, the harden youth. up, Ryan. Harden up, you youth. <laughs> the youth of today. So, Campbelltown in their all red strip. They'll be kicking to left of screen. Olympic in their all blue strip, kicking to right of screen. Should be a crackerjack game tonight. 1v6. Very important game for Olympic. Can they keep the momentum going? We're about to find out. All thanks to Velo Lighting. Round 19 action. So Campbelltown Red Devils just about to kick off, kicking towards the left of the screen. And obviously Olympic kicking towards the right. So they're on their way. Quickly the ball goes to Captain Fife. Right hand side to Matty Mullen. Harvey's down there on that right hand side of the park for the Campbelltown Red Devils. Over the sideline it goes for a throw in. Big night Olympic had on Wednesday. Through to the round of 16 in the effort. FA Cup qualifiers as they go into attack and into the arms of the keeper, Red Devils keeper, Harpus. And you heard right, Nicholas Harpus, the reserve goalkeeper for Adelaide Olympic. Mm -hmm. Brothers cousins, or cousins? Cousins, yes. So Big long, long kick there by Nicholas Harpus. Pishaneri over the ball now for Campbelltown. Mullen goes back wide, it's Harvey. Well, that could be, uh, that's Matty Mullen. Harvey keeps it in. Matsumoto feigned it. Halliday, got to wake up early to beat him. 
And Olympic get the ball up to the halfway line. Oh, could have been a foul. That second one definitely a foul. <laughs> so first foul conceded for the evening by Campbelltown. Let's watch this on replay. I think it was uh, Alex Mullen actually getting caught, but the first oh, one could no. have been given also. On Katapotis, it was. Free kick. Quickly taken, though, by Olympic. Goes out to Ponendez. Butler Bowden was there. Katapotis uh, trying to get to it, but great turn by Alex Mullen. Pirouette, didn't he? <laughs> Around it. Two cent piece, he did it. Goes out to Matamoto, chance to try and get into a good tackle, though, by Butler Bowden. It's been in great form, hasn't it? Yes. He? And goes out over the sideline, quickly taken. Goes to Pishinari. Back to Matsumoto. Flags up, though. First uh, one. Well, it's speaking of call. speaking of Butler Bowden's form, he sort of forced um, Alexandria on the bench. But not only that, it's forced Thomas Brown on the bench because in the FFA Cup final or qualifying final here at Cooper's, uh, Butler Bowden was on the bench and Brown had started. Mm. We'll also keep you up to date with that important game in State League One as well. Modbury looking to probably get promoted tonight. It won't be official mathematically, but you'd say realistically as five. Has an airy. Halliday heads it on. Mullen chests it down, but it's been stolen by Samosas. De Silva now to the box for Olympic. But Mullen did well. De Silva, good still. And eventually, it's the uh, Matthew Mullen type that clears the ball out of danger. And it'll be a throw in to Olympic on the halfway line. And uh, right in front of the commentary position is Spina to take it. Spina throws it out. Karapotis. Karapotis uh, trying to go short. Does go with uh, Hale De Silva. He's looking in great form, isn't he? He played mm. well Wednesday. <coughs> the top of his form for Olympic goes out to Ponendez. Ponendez looking on the left side, but a Bowden. Speaking of Ponendez, would you put him up? He would be up there as a Sergio, Merta, Metu, um, Sergio Melter medalist by the end of the season. He'd be definitely in that top five. Yeah, I think there will be a few players up there for, for Olympic, though. Is he still the leading points away from goal him. scorer, Rob? Yes, he in the is. League. So he'll be getting... He'd be getting some votes here and there, though, Robbie. Yeah, 100%. He plays every week. So it'll be uh, Harpers, Nicholas Harpers, looking for Harvey. Harvey controls it, gets down towards Mark Marino. He's got a big job on him. He's got a couple of good players mm. in the back line. Vangeli. And Halliday. Certainly he's added spark, hasn't he? Vangeli for this team. Goes out to Katapotis. In the way, though, it is uh, Campbelltown. Adam Pichonari goes to his captain in Fife. Been playing for quite a while, Fifey. Looking for Marino. Matsumoto's there as well. Harvey. Matty Mullen. But Campbelltown just pushing it around at the moment. Daniel Mullen's there as well. Back to Matty Mullen. Alex Mullen, it's the Mullen show at the moment. <laughs> Over the sideline for a throw in. Quickly taken. Spina going backwards. Under pressure. It's Macritus, and they're still under pressure, so it's hacked forward now. Samosas, the target, gets a nudge in the back. Play on, says the referee. Comes to Harvey. Harvey now looks up the line. Good take by Marino. Marino's got much more to wide if he wants him. He tried to dance and. Uh, Matty Halliday said thank you very much. An Olympic break now, quickly on the break. Samosas, can he keep it in? Far side of the ground and uh, tracking back with Sean Harvey and that's gone out of play for a Olympic throw-in. Gee, didn't he play well on Wednesday night too, Samosas? Is this his first start? Uh, He's come on, on as, as a sub a lot. I think he started against Metro, pretty sure. But he was playing in the back lines or the midfield. So Butler Bowden. versatile. With a throw in, quickly taken. Harvey on the back of Fernandez, maybe. On the far side. No, it wasn't. Tomasos. Tomasos, it was. Campbelltown struggling to clear their lines. They finally do with a bit of a nudge in the back there, maybe to Pishinari, but no, says the referee. A real ping pong going on at the moment. Now it finally comes down to Fernandez and feet. He chips the ball forward, looking for the run of Samosas. Didn't come. Or Tomazos it was on the far side and an easy take for Harpus. So Harpus, big long kick. He's got a huge boot, doesn't he? Yes. It? Trying Damn. to find Detroit. And he still looked like in second gear when he launched that. Yeah. So it'll be a throw into Olympic. Still nil nil. Just approaching the six minute mark. It's on the green play Australia. 
They're waiting for the ball to come back. Uh, Olympic will take this uh, throwing in the de defensive area. Espina with the ball. Goes down the line. Olympic trying to get to it. Samosas gets it out to Penendez. Uh, no, it was Tomasos. Tomasos, yeah. Beach with Samosas looks beautiful yeah, on the ball, doesn't he? Does. Very it's well Kemp balanced. Don't go into attack. On the far side now, Louis Detroit tries to be the first. He does so. Gets the cut back. Who's central? Matsumoto, tip of the box. Just running away from him a little bit. Takes it to the byline. Ooh. Ooh. Tries the cut back. Detroit, Pishaneri. It's a sea of feet in there. Finally cleared by Olympic. Out of danger, but it could have gone anywhere. The ball just running away from Matsumoto there. And Louis Detroit. Beautiful ball by Detroit across the box. That causes panic. How that led. Is not playing in the A League is beyond me. Now the referee's seen something. No, he wants a ball. It could be in line next Wednesday night. You never know. A lot of people will be watching. But, I mean, he, he had a contract with Central Coast, was it? Oh, just trial, a trial, went to trial. Yeah, but how could they not see something in that lad? Yeah. Oh well. Maybe Central Coast a, uh, a basket case. So Ian Fife, the captain, trying to get through, but uh, it's won by uh, Samosas. He gets it to Hale, the silver. He's away <laughs> on the right-hand side. Goes backwards. Espina. Beautiful. Good touch by Olympic. Gee, they look in great form. As he gets a nice-looking cross chance. Too cross deep. the face of goal. Tomazos. He played well last Wednesday night too. As uh, the ball is over the sideline for a throw into Olympic. Beautiful movement by Olympic. They have the ball on the far side. Penenda scared he might have been in an offside position. So throw in now to Campbelltown. Harvey to take it near his defensive corner flag. Looking for some movement. Looking for some options. Eventually down the line to Pishaneri. Matsumoto hacks it forward. Should be tidied up by Halliday, I think it is. Butler Bowden going backwards now. It's Tomazos back there, I think. Uh, Vangeli. Uh, oh, Vangeli. Saw a two, didn't see the three. So Vangeli now should bring the ball forward for Olympic. Plays it short. Uh, eventually we'll get it out of their defence. Halliday plays Ooh. the ball up and out. Well, turned over, I should say. So Fife with the ball for Campbelltown Red Devils. Goes short to Matty Mullen. He tries to go in towards Detroit, center of the ground, loses out though. Ponendez wins it. Samosas goes back to him, trying to find the silver. Good touch there by the silver. Gee, that looking good. As it goes out, Olympic. Espina, can he get the cross? Borks goes one way, left foot, trying to find Ponendez. Headed out though by Alex Mullen. Still it's Olympic. Katapotis. The silver. Goes out to Vangeli. Vangeli looking for Espina. Beautiful steal. Espina controls. He's got the ball again. Goes back to the silver. This is good soccer tonight. That's the outside of the foot. Not a good one, that one. Uh, into the arms of the keeper in Nicholas Harpers. I think we've been spoiled to rob the second half of the season. Of course, the first half, we've got to get a lot of the clubs to get some exposure. But the second half, the games are, are picked on merit. And I think it tells. And obviously, the, the pitches are artificial. That helps. You play a helps. big part in good yep. football, especially in this time of the year. But speaking on Olympic, they look nippy. They look they sharp. They're, they're first of the ball. Um, their movement, their triangles in possession are fantastic to watch. Um, you can see their front third uh, are very, very well organised and very well structured. Bomber, how are Modbury looking, mate? Modbury, uh, one, uh, they have actually won against 1-0 against West Torrens. And in you know, tonight's game, Cumberland and White Sea Woodville, it's 0-0 in that game. They play Burkella. West Torrens. So now it's Angeli playing it up to Katopodis, trying to get it out of defence for Olympic. A bit of a nudge in the back. That could have been a foul, but not given. Throw in instead. Spina to take it for Olympic. Still nil-nil on the Green Play Australia scoreboard. 11 minutes gone this first half on the Green Play Australia time clock. Ball in the middle of the park. Ricardo oh, De Silva, beautiful back heel, but only to the advantage of Halliday. Fife under pressure. Centers at Mullen, back to Fife. Fife looks up. Might go short to Halliday. Doesn't. 
Oh, Ooh. puts Mullen under a little bit of pressure. Did well, but coming through is Macritus. He's body checked. Taking over as Tomazos goes wide to Butler Bowden. Butler Bowden now back to Macritus. Macritus has got the silver yelling for it on this side. That's the way it goes. Hard ball to control, but of course, Ricky made it look easy. Halliday in front of him, plays it onto a spinner. Oh, Beautiful great, ball great. to the byline. Maybe a little bit heavy. Another little bit of, bit of a body check there from Fifey, and that's gone out of play. Gokey. Great action. And I tell you what, boys, he's looking sharp as Spina. Yeah, right? that ball should have gone in first time, though. That It was a great little layoff there by De Silva. He's just put it on a plate for him. He didn't need to take that touch and get it to the byline. It was that well-weighted. That, that ball should have gone in first time. And Samosa said to him, play, I'll make him a run to the front post. But otherwise, Espina, yeah, he's playing a great game. Ryan, I was going to have a go at Robbie for wearing the gloves, but I better not because uh, Ricky is as well. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, but Mark, we're down we're down here on pitch side. It's a little Mark bit cooler. Marino. You guys have got the heaters at your feet. Mark, <laughs> Mark Marino's wearing gloves. Is he? There's a few. No, is it 14? Uh, nine. nine, but not. Oh, yeah. Yep. So it'll be uh, so a couple of your mates out there. <laughs> we don't, uh, but boys, we don't get the warmth and comfort you guys do up in the box. <laughs> don't lie, Ryan. <laughs> I think Jimbo might get the heater out in a minute. As it goes down to the ground. Jimbo's got hypothermia, he can't move. <laughs> <laughs> As it goes out, uh, Olympic trying to go into attack. Another free kick. They've first of the ball, Olympic. They've come out of the blocks. We're, you're gonna, yeah, we're worried to see how if they're going to be lethargic and stuff like that, but they've definitely come out the blocks the quickest. They're first of the ball. Um, they're in front of the players. They're, 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 they're looking sharp. So the Silver tries to crack it, Gee, dips. I don't know whether Harpus was ready for that. <laughs> yeah, he, he was there, and he quickly throws it out. I know he was out. there, but I don't know if he was ready for I it. I presume big hello to some of the Melbourne officials, Melbourne City officials would be watching this game, wouldn't they? As Olympic going to attack, keeping an eye on the Campbelltown team they're going to be playing on Wednesday night. So uh, it'll be just not a good clearance again. Oh, it's luckily for Chiodisley, yeah. Missionary right hand side, Matsumoto. Isn't he some sort of a player? He's class. Cuts it back, trying to find Pishinari. Olympic come away though. They do clear it, trying to find Samosis. It's gone all the way back to Captain Fife. Go short to Alex Mullen. Trying to find uh, Halliday there. It's Jake Halliday for Campbelltown. So that is the silver. Gets it down the line. Katapotis controls it. He's been good this season as well. He's been a lot of good players for Olympic. Goes short oh. to the silver. Try the first time. Yeah, just off the side of the boot. And over the side, over the goal line, that is, for a goal kick. So still nil-nil here at Velo Football Centre. Bomber. And just a stat, uh, that was the first shot on target by LA Olympic. And those stats are brought to you by Green Play Australia. Bit earlier on oh, but I'm not, not that, that no no a bit earlier on you're right the one that uh, I thought Harpus was not too aware of he was in the right spot so Campbelltown now in the middle of the park Penendez doing the defending but giving away the free kick so that might have been the first conceded by Olympic Bomber yeah, yeah. the first foul conceded by Olympic so foul count Oly Olympic one at Campbelltown two gee Daniel Mullins still looks nice and trim doesn't he looking very fit yeah five goes to the far side but he's turned it over. Butler Bowden gets his head on it. That's more to giving chase. Tomazos there as well. So is Harvey. Harvey will take the throw in quickly to Pishaneri under pressure from Penendez. Pishaneri goes for a bit of a gallop. Referee's got his flag up. And that's taken a deflection off an Olympic player. So it'll be a Campbelltown throw in far side of the ground. Into attack. Still no goals to report in the 1v6 clash. Of course, Olympic dropping a couple of spots without kicking a ball today. Campbelltown, Red Devils with control. It's Daniel Mullen. Right-hand side, they do clear it. There's another one that could uh, be focused on the, the A-League, Daniel Mullen, for next week's game. Somebody might pick him up. You never nah. know. Nah. Too old now. You reckon? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. Come on. They're looking for a stopper. Marino doing a bit of a dance out there. Finds Matsumoto, but he's turned it over. Butler Bowden goes short. They'll come away with it now. No, they won't. It's been stolen back by... Pishaneri, although he's turned it over. They win it back, Campbelltown. The dust settles. Fife in his defensive zone goes back to his keeper, Harpus. Very glowing tonight is the Nicholas Harpus in that fluoro top. Detroiter in the middle of the park. Finds Matsumoto. Here go Campbelltown now on a bit of a run. Holding the line there was Marino. Now it was a good run, but the offside flag did come, so didn't hold it long enough 
did Marino and another offside against uh, Campbelltown. So that's a second offside for the game for Campbelltown and a Olympic none. Those stats are brought to you by Green Play Australia. So it'll be a free kick. Daniel Vaughan, keeper for Olympic. He's had a, an exceptional season so far. Kept him in the game in the... Uh, last week against what, Metro. Yeah, last week, even the LA City Grand Final in the Federation Cup. Yeah. Certainly a good keeper. Sends it right-hand side in the way. Jake Halliday. Vangeli, not a good pass. Straight to Captain Fife. Ian Fife with the ball. Looking for movement. Goes towards uh, Marina. Good touch by Marina. Finding Detroit. Oh, almost comes forward and to Pishinari. Again, well read. This time by Matty Mullen. Marino. Does a pill. That's Fishinari. Here we are. He goes to Marino. Marino with a chance to score. Oh, Good oh, interception Espina. there by Espina. And that was a goal bound just about. But Espina. Yeah, well, that's as good tackle. as the save. Let's well have a look done. at that on replay. This is as good as a save. That Espina yes. challenge right when it needed to be. And as perfect as you could get without giving away a penalty. Have a look at this on the close up replay. Perfect challenge. Perfect timing. Espina, that's a safe to you, mate. But at the end of the day, Marino's in the box. You, you're expecting defenders to close you down. How many touches do you want on the box? You beat your player, take one touch, have a strike. What does he want to do? Have a cup of tea in there as well. Corner kick goes and short. And a bottle of Pishinari now from outside the box. Puts it into the box, but headed away. Couldn't beat the first man. First to it. Well, tried to beat Tomazos, but he's given it away cheaply to Detroit. Back to Halliday. Halliday backtracks now. Harvey switch sides. Ball on the far side now. Pishinari chips the ball carefully but ill-directed. Olympic should come away with it. Butler Bowden has it. Tomazos called for it in the middle of the park. Butler Bowden too long on it. Now he's backtracking. Plays it up the line. Turns it over. Sometimes he should go first time. And Matsumoto gives away a free. So free kick on the far side. For Olympic, just over 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes. Still nil-nil here at the Velo Stadium. Velo Football Stadium, yes. Campbelltown, the last few minutes, has started to build their way back in the, into the game. Their star, star players, Pichonari, Detroit, and that, starting to get on the ball and starting to dictate terms in the midfield. So it ends up with Olympic through Samosas. Another foul. Gee, what a capture he's been. And Vangeli, both of them. And what a sub, well, what a replacement for Edba as well. Mm. She was in the goods. And Vangeli and for Vangeli at the back at the back for Delera. Um, Delera. So Olympic pushing it around at the moment. Getting the cross in. That's oh, high. Oh, 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 that should have been a goal. Well, let's have a look at that on replay. What a beautiful ball by Ricardo de Silva. Floated it beautifully into the 18 yard box and Penendez read it best. And we're not going to see it. That was a big tease. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. A chip in and Penendez. Beautiful read. And gee, you thought that would have been in. Harpus was left flat footed, but just wide of the upright. Still nil nil. He scored the goal against Metro like that, didn't he? Yep. Virtually. Here we are, the super close up. Carter to see a beautiful camera work, boys upstairs. Look at that. That is great camera work. Well done, fellas. So centre of the ground it is at the moment. Referee uh, Eric Forster still he sees a infringement. Marino's not happy. Still not happy. And neither is Ricardo De Silva. <laughs> Just explained to Halliday, it's not AFL. So it's the old game. Touches it. Does that mean play on? Yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> allowed to do that, but anyway. Anyhow, switches it towards Butler Bowden. Cool hand, McCreedis was there. Yes, he's back. Samosas. McCreedis trying to get to it, but uh, trying to win it. it. Was Marino was there, but Olympic have got it. They go out. Ooh, very lucky. Ends up with a spinner. He's been lively. This guy's been magic. Magical. Mm. The silver. Getting better by age. Back to it. Vangeli. McCreedus was there as well. So just pushing it around. They've had about 20 touches in one spot. 
Which we'll just play great switch to Butler Bowden. He gets to what gets cuts it back. It's Fina. Oh, is he yeah. fouled? Out, out, out. Yeah, I think yeah. it was out. The out. assistant's got his flag up. Just a little bit heavy on tap on that touch. If you have a look on the replay, Butler Bowden there tried it. Did the, the thought was right, but just uh, needed to caress it. Yeah, yeah. That's just a bit late that part of the replay. But anyway, it's uh, Olympic looking good at this stage. They're in sixth spot. After results earlier on of round 19, Campbelltown still out clear in top. It'll be Nicholas Harpers to take the goal kick. Nil nil on the Green Play Australia scoreboard. This round 19 action thanks to Avalo Lighting. McCreedus gets his head to it. Oh, foul. Foul. Hands foul. in the back. Hands in the back. Okay. Well, Ryan's right down there, boundary side. Let's have a look at this on replay. Didn't see it though, Ryan, I've got to admit. <laughs> Uh, yep, Campbelltown with the ball. Matsumoto goes to Alex Mullen. Pishinari. Jake Halliday is there. Back to Pishinari it goes. We've got some really skillful players, Campbelltown. Oh. Moved out of the way was Detroit. Accidental. Katapotis goes down, is it? Vangeli. Oh, Vangeli. He's hurt himself too. Late challenge, just corky. Left the dragging leg out bomber. Yeah, so a few scores, updates around the grounds. Thanks to Greenplay Australia. White City Woodville are leading two goals nil against Cumberland United. Also today in State League, Modbury Jets winning one goal to nil against West Torrens Berkala. Um, Sturt Lions two, winning two goals to nil against Adelaide Victory. Fulham United winning three goals to nil against Nolunga United. Not winning, they won. They won, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And Seaford Rangers won 2-1 over Salisbury United. I think it got his knee there. Look, he's all right, but we'll keep an eye on him. Dead leg. Dead leg. He was holding the mid part of his thigh when he went down. And Jolly back on his feet. Vaughan now with a long clearance. Samosas the target. It'll come to De Silva. De Silva, beautiful oh. central ball. Cool hammer. Creedus goes oh. to shot. Oh, oh, good save. Good parry there by that Harpus. That was going like a ball. Oh. <laughs> Harpus did well, but it's going to come back at him. Kato Podis in the box. Takes it to the byline. Gets tumbled over. Let's have a look at that on replay. What a shot. Cool hammer. Creedus. Boom. And he had to just parry that because that was nice swinging shot. left, right and centre. And uh, this is the super close up. Beautiful mm. shot. Great camera work again right behind that. And Harpers knew all about that one. So Ponendez with the ball left side of the park. Jacob Butler Bowden. He loves his overlaps. But the well come back there by Sean Harvey. That'll be a free kick, no? Advantage play on. Yeah. Yes, he has. Matsumoto goes. Try to go to Detroit. Left it behind him. And that's cleared here by uh, Olympic. This is a great game. Mm. Up in the air it is at the moment. McCreedus got his head to it. So Campbelltown. Just uh, going backwards at the moment. You got the Jimmy leg there. Come on. Goes short to Matty Mullen. <laughs> it's cold, man. I've got to move. <laughs> Five with the ball. <laughs> Got to keep warm. Go for a run at half top. <laughs> oh, don't, rub don't rub us. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Lucky you can't see what's going on here. Ready, Marlon. Switches play. Good switch to Jake Halliday. Controls it. Looking to send Detroit. Try to. Not a good ball. Vangeli will probably police it over the line. He does. Oh, oh corner. Well, I'd like to see the this corner again. Yeah, 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 it was a corner, corner. boys. Well, Vangeli's protesting there as you can see on screen i think it's protesting the push let's have a look at this on replay if it can tell us a little bit more vangeli shielding the ball gave him a bit of a nudge and mm. was a corner came off his yeah, foot boys yeah, yeah, no, can't argue with that so is this the first one bomber or second That's, it's the second one for Campbelltown, and also Campbelltown well, hasn't made any shots on goal yet. So LA Olympic, three shots, two on target and one off target. The Those. close up, more concise. Sorry, Bomber, the close up, more concise about that corner. Yep. So the corner kick will be taken. They go short. They get the cross in. Their chance. Ooh, gee, good ahead fly. Of there. Who was that? Mullen. Yeah, which Daniel? one? Matthew. <laughs> Daniel. Matthew. Matthew. Let's have a look. Replay. Yeah, Matty. Matthew Mullen, yes it Matty was. Mullen. So, Olympic. Halliday. 
Matty Halliday gets it down. Trying to find oh, Samosas. Samosas got a chance. Oh, well, keep there. Kept. Kept Good safe. <laughs> That's what you were trying. Oh, gee, what just got a his game. hands up in time. Let's, Let's have a look at this replay. on replay. It's on side. Scored. Very well weighted. Oh. Tried to chip the keeper. Did everything right. But just the ball was, in fairness to Samosas, the ball was bouncing just that little bit too high for him to get the, the elevation he would have liked. But. Nevertheless, would I say that's a shot on target? 100%. Okay. And a save. Gee, that's uh, two, well, fantastic chances. And they They're come again. again. Olympic now. Samosas hangs off, gets it in the end. He takes it to the byline. No one central, though. Oh, no. He should have looked up. He should have looked up, and Halliday should deal with it and wins a throw in for Campbelltown. Two guilt ed op opportunities for Olympic. Gone begging still, nil nil on the Green Play Australia scoreboard. So throw into De Silva. He'll leave it for Spina. Or will he? Yes, he will. So Olympic with the throw in. Into attack. It's by the corner flag. Going short to De Silva in the way though. Jake Halliday. Wow. What a response by Olympic after that uh, midweek phenomena. George, credit, George Sonis, the coach, credit to him for keeping him switched on. You could just have that lull after such big games, but after the FFA Cup qualifier and the Federation Cup, if you want to call it that, to back it up with a win. And after Wednesday night, the way the boys are responding is in phenomenal. So Espina with a throw in. Goes to De Silva. Back to Espina. Gets a first time cross. Face of goals. Kule Macridis. We oh, tried another one again. Tomasos was there too. You try, try to, to flick short. it on, yeah, yeah, for Samosas, but not on the same wavelength. So out for a goal kick. Fair to say, Olympic looking better, boys in the two at the moment. Campbelltown, yeah, yeah, definitely. Campbelltown are trying to shuffle up things. Detroit is now going on the right wing with Matsumoto come here on the left wing. So it goes short to Halliday. Jakey Halliday goes back to his keeper. Ooh, he's got to get rid of it. Harpus does well. Big long kick again in the way Butler Bowden. Trying to control it, Daniel Mullen does show does so to Alex Mullen, switches it to right hand side to Troyer, controlling it. Trying to go to the wards the right. Harvey goes for a run. Good power. And they've given away the corner kick on that right hand side. Good power by Louis Detroit there to keep going after hitting a couple of blue brick walls. So another corner bomber that will be there. Number three for yeah, sorry, number three for this half. And Al Olympic no zero corners. Mm. Thanks to Green Play Australia. Campbelltown with a corner kick, right foot out swing it. Very central and the keeper comes and takes very easily. That's what you want to see from your keeper, Vaughan who releases quickly. Nice throw. De Silva now. He's got Tomazos up there going for a gallop. Samosas short, that's the way it goes. Samosas now. Good control, goes back to De Silva, back to Macritus. Macritus, central, Penendis coming deep to collect. Macritus to Halliday. Still in the defensive half, Olympic. Butler Bowden on the far side, being harassed by Detroit. Penendis, he's got Mullen hot on his hammer. Butler Bowden in board to Penendis now. Good movement by Olympic. Cato Podis goes short to De Silva. De Silva goes into oh, the box. Yeah. Who's out of meet it? It's Samosas, but off target. Sick. And that's three gilded goal opportunities for Olympic. Loving their build-up play it tonight, is. boys. It Absolutely is. loving their build-up play. It's beautiful to watch. Look at this on the replay. Beautifully weighed across, though. De Silva's just on fire. Isn't he? He's past accuracy percentage. I reckon it would be 100% tonight. He doesn't need Tonto to play good soccer. I wonder if he looked at YouTube to see who... The Lone Ranger and Tonto <laughs> actually is. are. Where yeah, it is goal kick. And the horse, really. The horse was sil <laughs> the sil silver. Yeah. Yeah, hi -ho, silver, yeah. Hi-ho, silver. There's Butler. Bowden. Goes left side of the park trying to find Tomazos. So you've added the D in there, Rob, have you? The what? Well, the horse was silver, was it? Yeah. So you've added the, the da. But, yeah. Because <laughs> Lone Ranger used to say, hey, oh, the silver. No, no, I hold silver. Oh, you have added I, I added the DA. Yeah, maybe. I, I think you have. I don't think the horse was called the silver. Yeah, uh, maybe in Spain he might have been. So, anyhow, it's Campbelltown with the ball. 
They lose out the Olympic Karapotas. Oh, flag Stay can't go down. up because it didn't go through. Falcon to Tomazos goes out. Campbelltown under the pump at they the moment. Can't penetrate their yep. own. Huh? Butler Bowden. Oof. Then Jelly has to go chase it. Now he looks up, looking for some movement. Decides to go back to his keeper. So Olympic. Matty goes out to uh, Vangeli. Out. It's out. out. Just out. Yep. Bomber. Yeah, just speaking, of looking at some of the stats, shot-wise, at Olympic 5, three on target, two off target. Campbelltown, one shot, one on target, no off targets. It tells me pure domination by Olympic at the moment there. It does there. Thanks to Green Play Australia, those stats. Throw in now Campbelltown. Grandstand side. It's been a try. Oh, beautiful work by Daniel Mullen. Gee, he's still got it, Twinkle Toes Mullen. Let's have a look at him. Plays it wide to Harvey. Harvey yeah, now goes on a run. Did he hurt his toes, did he? Harvey goes further wide. Detroit comes in board. Chips it into the box. A header. Lurking is Halliday. Angle against him. Good cut down. Halliday, second chance. Great oh, save. save. Vaughan again. Wow. That was goal bound and saved by Vaughan. Watch this on the replay. I thought the angle might have been too tight, but Halliday, lucky deflection. A great low down save by Vaughan with a Right palm there, the big mitt, but the good power to keep it out. Yes, great keeper. What a great game. We've already played 33 minutes of just flowing by. So it'll be a corner kick left side of the park for Campbelltown Red Devils. It's Adam Pushinari. It's round 19 action thanks to Velo Lighting. It'll be a right footed in swinger. Daniel Mullen, who's also Captain Fife, is there. Goes out, she gets a oh, poor clearance. Yeah. Well, Mr. Dane. Yep, and it's gone over the sideline. Right, throw into Campbelltown Red Devils. Matsumoto and Marino just uh, pushing it around. Goes to Jake Halliday. Ian Fife. And that's over the sideline for a throw. We quickly taken. Goes out. Back it goes to Marino. Oh, loses out to De Silva. Halliday, though, in the way. Jake Halliday finds his captain in Ian Fife. Can't seem to get a couple of passes going, Campbelltown, at the moment. As De Silva. Pressure from the Espina. Yep. Espina will take this throw in. Does well. Squares it to Halliday, Matty Halliday for Olympic. Goes out. Handball core and referee on the spot. Quickly taking free kick. Away go Campbelltown. Daniel Mullen now for Campbelltown up to the halfway line. Goes short. Alex Mullen to Detroit. Back to Mullen. Back to Detroit. Back to Matthew Mullen. Louis Detroit, very deep in his own defensive half, as is Matsumoto. You don't see that too often as Detroit goes for a switch of play, asking a fair bit of Halliday. Will Halliday keep it in? Yes, he does. Gets a deflection. Wins a throw in. Coming off a spina. Or was it Vangeli? I think it was a spina. So throw into Campbelltown, Halliday. Grandstand side, looking for a runner. Matsumoto chips it back. Fortuitously to Marino, but well, I was going to say they went out in numbers, but they don't push an area, try to chip. Now gets to the halfway line. Fife sends it back in. Halliday under severe pressure well by De Silva. Did well to keep the ball. Mullen, the Alex type, goes back to Matty. He goes wide to Detroit, but it'll be cut out by Butler Bowden. Pishinari lurking as is Tomazos. Campbelltown went out in numbers. Detroit back to Harvey. Harvey, short, Pishinari. Up the line to no one in particular. Out for a goal kick. It's a bit disjointed up the front there for Campbelltown, mm, isn't it, Rob? Mm, just can't seem to get it going at the moment. But the uh, Olympic, as you said, they're putting a lot of pressure on them. So Vaughan will take this uh, goal kick. 
here at the Velo Football Centre, the home ground of Olympic. It is still 0-0, just over 36 minutes played. I'm forgetting the Green Play Australia scoreboard and time clock. As they go into attack, looking for Samosas, but well done, Campbelltown. They've got the ball. Petroya, 1-2 from Alex Mullen to Matsumoto. Looking quite neat, but they're well read there. Oh, that's cynical. This could be a card. A spina. Very cynical, Louis. He's better than that. A yellow mm. card to Louis de Troyer. I Good love how Spina just gets up and keeps going. He, he, this bloke is a war horse. Just want to see that on the replay. Yeah, very cynical. Didn't need to do it in his own attacking half. Of all places. Oh, well, he just lunged. Yeah, he didn't need to, Rob. You still no, he didn't need to. Defenders in your defensive half to... Automatic, isn't it? I think a bit of frustration for poor old Luigi de Troyer there. So it'll be Vangeli go all the way back to Vaughan, the keeper. He's outside his own box. You want the gloves? I'll go to the gloves at <laughs> half time, that's for sure. I told you. Back to the there. The silver. Gee, Fife, he got away with one there, I think. In the way. Olympic defence, Vangeli. Keeps it in. Up in the air, well done. Fife got his head to it. Play oh, goes down. That's that's a free nudge, kick. <laughs> Even Bobber got emotional there. Nudge, nudge, <laughs> wink, wink. Say no more. Mm -hmm. Just going back to the other one with Fife and De Silva. Fife had height, the height on him anyway. I didn't see why he had to use his hand and give away potentially a silly free kick in defence. But anyway, he got away with it. So Fife to take the free kick for Campbelltown. Still nil-nil in a very entertaining game. Campbelltown looking a little bit disjointed, making a lot of moves. Olympic, on the other hand, moving the ball around beautifully and should have been at least one or two nil up. Sfifey now goes long. He's reading it well, isn't he? Turned Vangeli. it over, Vangeli. Read it very well to De Silva. De Silva now beautifully weighted ball to Samosas. Samosas on Ooh, his chest, couldn't geez, control what? it. Harvey taking no chances, clears the ball straight away. Samosas looks very good up front. He's a great target man. I'd love to see him and Edipa play together. I reckon that'd be a great pairing up there. Took the words right out of my mouth. You must have been while I was... <laughs> I knew that was coming from Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Reading like a book these days. Get a focus. And that's a very bad book. Cool out of the <laughs> The Sylvie, he, he's given the man of the match. Give him 10 bottles of wine. Uh, we don't have a man of the oh, match, Rob, we? and we haven't had for about four <laughs> weeks. Well, he certainly deserves it. Oof! As uh, Butler Bowden... On the far side. Controlling at Ponendis. Goes out. Oh, nice. Lucky. Chance for Espina. He's been on fire. Cuts it back brilliantly. Ponendis chance. Samosas. What a oh, save. Oh, 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 oh. Gee, oh. What a save. Blank range he was. And uh, keeper did well, didn't he? Talk Harpers. about man of the match. I think Nicholas Harpers, if you stop the game now, under pressure. But they get it to Pichoneri, plays it wide to Matsumoto. Should have been 3 0 up, Olympic. That's crazy. Olympic now, it's Halliday. They have to defend. Oh, gets rid of the corner flag. We've got a replay on that. We'll see. If we can. What a save. Mm. Reflex at the feet. Here we are. Samosa's point blank ranging with the feet, Harpers. Brilliant save, but Penendez did well to get it down. Beautiful leap by. Penendis and Samosas oh, read it beautifully and Harpers at his feet. Could have gone anywhere because yeah, he's was, very well it was, balanced. It was a lucky save. It well, wasn't, uh, oh, yeah, it was a save. I wouldn't it was say a reflex lucky. save. Reflex. Well, it did, wasn't a... did say that on the first. Yeah, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on what? <laughs> <laughs> so you can say it, yeah. Corner kick. Campbelltown taking the corner kick. They're under the pump at the moment. They're on top of the table. Yeah, imagine they go five, five points. <laughs> it goes out. Pichonari. Harvey. Remember they lost the last week to LA United. The uh, could have been a foul. So they haven't been in terrific form from last week. Well, prior to that, been unbelievable, haven't they? That's right. One. So uh, Olympic have been in magnificent form as it goes with Katapotis on the left side of the park. Olympic trying to find uh, Ponendis. A Campbelltown coming away, but Butler Bowden doubles back, wins the ball. Wins it past nice. two or three players. And Campbelltown are trying to get to it. It's ended up over the sideline. 
halfway throwing to Sean Harvey for Campbelltown. What a great game for the neutral as it's chested by Mullen. He gets one in the back. Penendis rides him into the ground and wins a free kick. Quickly taken. Fife goes short. Matsumoto had the ball stolen off him. Vangeli goes for a run. Plays it to Samosas. Oh. Just a little heavy. And I tell you what, these two boys, what an acquisition to Olympic. And I, they're just gelling with everyone. It's just the complete team, Rob. Give credit to Harper, so well read. Give credit yeah, to true, Vangeli at the true. back for uh, reading it and As stealing well. it, yeah. Yeah, Vangeli, beautiful. And that was a good ball through to Samosas. Yeah, it was a little bit over here, but it wasn't way over here. But Harpus read that. Harpus read as soon as Vangeli had broken. I was looking at Harpus. He was already coming off his line. He was expecting that as he saw Samosas breaking off his defender. So well read there by Harpus. Yeah, but if it wasn't as heavy, Ryan, Samosas would have had the easy chip in the end. Yeah, but he wasn't, he wasn't fl flying out his line as of yet. But you ha got a valid point, though. Yeah, but the game's not made on ifs because... Oh, no. If I won good. the lottery, if if some butts, <laughs> yeah, don't exist. I'm not talking about my backside. <laughs> thank, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Schmelly. So, yeah. So almost 43 minutes gone this first half on the Green Play Australia time clock. It's gone. It's flowing by, but it, the game is flying as well. Brilliant game. It's probably one of the best I think I've seen this season. Is now, Marina had a chance, but Halliday read it best. Espina now for Olympic. On the halfway line, backtracks to Vangeli. Vangeli looks up. De Silva back to Vangeli. Macritus came to offer, but that's ignored. Vangeli goes down the line, putting a bit of pressure on a spin and just didn't get a good touch. Fife, you will see it over the line for a goal kick. I agree. Great game tonight is uh, one of the best we have covered all season. I still think um, so far, not the best, but up there with the best with the first game. Blue Eagles came down round oh, one. That was, a beauty that was an well, absolute yeah. crackerjack yeah. Cra kick yeah. off the season. Yeah. I thought the FFA Cup, Federation Cup final We've was We've been fortunate. Too. We've done a lot of good games. The Federation actually. Cup final was a brilliant game brilliant too. Game. That was yeah. a brilliant game. So, it'll be Harpus. Nicholas Harpers. Oh, I went through that gentleman's fingers. Wouldn't have him in goals. <laughs> what if we got that on replay? <laughs> That's a classic. So the throw in taken. Goes out to Matty Halliday. Switches played. They love to switch, don't they? Trying to find Tomasos there. Goes over the sideline. It'll be a throw in to Butler Bowden. will take it for Olympic. Crackerjack first half so far. A minute and a half to go plus time on. Or just about a minute to go plus time on. Katapotas. Cool hand, Macritus. To De Silva. Ricardo De Silva. Left hand side of the park. They go in ball. Campbelltown now have got a Pishinari. Can go towards a well read there by Van Jelly. Yeah. Detroit was wanting it. Oof, where's the talking? As it goes to Katapotis. De Silva again. Espina. De Silva. Cut it back. Can he? No, he can't. Does he win himself a corner? He does. Corner kick to Olympic. He played that so smart, Ricky. But he just waited on that. Waited for the defender to come across. What an intelligent player you see there on screen. And won his team the corner. He could have just tried to get the cut back there. But he thought... It's a little bit heavy, that ball. Let it run. The defender's going to come, and I'll try and win a corner, and he did. Where's the ball? Talk about being high in the uh, Serge Melder. I think De Silva will be up there, too. That's um, right. There's a lot of players will take votes. Yeah, away. true, but there's some games that, thing with De Silva, like not tonight's game, but there's some games with De Silva he does go, not missing, but just sometimes a little bit quiet. Those X-Factor type players like De Silva, they... They don't need to play 90 minutes to have a great game. Mm. Where Ponendez does play a great 90 minutes. Corner kick, take a chance! Oh. That's a goal! And it's there you Ponendez! are. The top goal scorer. So uh, he's up to number nine. Uh, he's up to number 13, 14 goals this season. But uh, uh -oh. Daniel Mullins getting carded because he f disagrees and he feels that it shouldn't have been a corner. Well, let's just watch the goal on replay, boys. Penendez flying. Once again, a beautifully weighted corner kick. No one marked him. Free header. Near post. Bang. Thanks for coming. 
and that's exactly right. Daniel could say all he wants, but where was the marking in the box? You know, Ponendez has had three, four, three opportunities. One goal, one cushion down to Samosas in the box. He's a big, powerful player, good with his head. Someone's got to be tight with him, and no one's even close to him. Top goal scorer went unmarked, and an easy goal in the end. And how many has he scored with his head this season? He scored quite a few with his head this season. You said last week against Metros. Absolutely. And that uh, a yellow card is now... To Marino. Marino, gee. This is frustration creeping in. Marino, where are we here? Yellow card. Mullen didn't get one before. He was just complaining, right? No yellow Correct. Card no Mullen. yellow card to Mullen. So only the second for the night, thanks to Green Play Australia. And you know what? Serves Marino right. <laughs> the goal's been done. Just get on with the game. You're not playing your best of games. Mm. Just play the game. Wasn't it Ryan talking about emotion <laughs> that Ed but took his top off really right in the broadcast? Yeah, but at the end of the day, oh, you're 1-0 down go now. You, mate. No, 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 you're 1-0 <laughs> down now, and Eric's got to show the yellow card. Otherwise, this talk would be going all night. Half-time, there it is. Eric has uh, Eric Ford's Estelius blown the half-time whistle here at Vale Football Centre. What a very entertaining game, rewarded by a goal in the end and a very intelligent corner won by Ricky De Silva. As we mentioned, prior to that corner being taken, and really nothing less than a lead for Olympic at half time. Who you got, Ryan? Manny. Good half so far, yeah. You've been pretty happy. You guys come out fine out of the blocks, even though you had that Wednesday night big game. Yeah, we're feeling fresh. Um, mm. But on top of that game, uh, yeah, I think we're just starting to get going. To be honest, we're still in third gear. So, What was the talk uh, before the game? You know, you had the big game on Wednesday. What was it? Just to keep playing your game? Yeah, just keep playing our game, focus on Campbelltown, just keep going and, uh, and yeah, keep the momentum. Get in, look forward to the second half. What a great first half it's been, yeah. boys, and I've got to say, a deserved leave to Olympic 1 0. Could have been more, really, when you watch the half time highlights, and you, they'll be coming up. Jimbo will be showing you the half time highlights. But, uh, just a correction on the top goal score Terence Carter is leading 16 goals, but uh, Fernandez is on 15, so okay. he's one goal behind. I'm not sure if that's calculated in today's games, because I think Carter scored two goals today. So in maybe not. So maybe not. Yeah, he might be even further ahead. So okay, yeah. uh, just in summary, Bom, have you got some halftime stats for us? Yeah, halftime stats brought to you by Green Play Australia. So shot, Al Olympic had seven shots, five on target, two off target. They conceded five fouls, made one corner and had three saves. For Campbelltown, they had two shots, two shots on target, had conceded seven fouls, created set four corners, had four saves, Two offsides and two yellow cards. It's pretty clear, isn't it, Rob, that uh, Olympic very dominant in that first half with goal opportunities. Yeah, for the only one to pick it. Did I, was I the only one to pick him? Excuse me. Did you pick him as well? No, you Robbie, picked Campbelltown. You picked Campbelltown, Campbelltown Oh, that's right. Come oh, on, <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Can you rewind, rewind back the tape, Jim? Rewind, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was the only one not It's only half-time anyway. It's only <laughs> half-time in fairness. Uh, boys, it is half-time. We'll leave you at half-time with a scoreline. Adelaide Olympic 1, Campbelltown nil. Adelaide Olympic, of course, went from 3rd to 6th at the start of this game, right well, before we moment, go. At the moment, they're second. That's good. I was going to say with a win tonight, they'll, they'll jump back into second. With a live ladder. Ryan, before we uh, go to the halftime break, anything you'd like to add on that performance by Olympic? No, just speaking, just speaking to Manny at halftime there, walking into the sheds here. The, the Olympic boys are ready. They're confident. You can feel the confidence within. After that 30-second chat, you can see the confidence within the change rooms, and it's definitely showing out in the park. I'm excited for the second half. And that should be maybe two or three. Yeah, exactly right. There's a lot of confidence, and and I don't see, like Manny said, they feel like they're playing only in third gear. I reckon, I reckon they've got more to come, and and it's going to be a cracky jack. Campbelltown really, their big guns are really got to step up now. It's all thanks to Velo Lighting. This round 19 action. We're going to have a half time break. When we come back, I'm going to put on the gloves, and we're going to see those half time dogs, <laughs> half time highlights. Back shortly. <laughs> So why do RIA members enjoy that winning feeling? Well, because having access to a range of trusted products gives them peace of mind. <laughs> and the more RIA products they have, the more they save. And they get discounts at a huge range of events and retail partners. And they feel good about RIA community programs and sponsorships. <laughs> you guys don't miss a thing, do you? It's all part of how we do more for our members and for South Australia.
was worried when we had to cancel our Fiji holiday because of that unexpected cyclone. Yeah, we'd already prepaid the flights and accommodation. It's all covered because you took out an RAA travel insurance premium policy. Cleverer. Mm. And because you booked your holiday through RAA Travel, we were able to rebook you to the Wit Sundays. Perfect. So you guys can relax even more. Take off with more. Get a quote today. I can tell you it's a lot different to what you saw on the RAA commercial. Very cool here tonight, as opposed to looking very warm and tropical on that RAA ad. It is 1-0 here. The hosts, Adelaide Olympic, leading Campbelltown. Top of the table, Campbelltown, 1-0. And it could have been a few more than just one, Mr Pepicelli. Certainly right. The uh, Olympics certainly could have been 2 or 3-0 up in the, in the first half. Campbelltown, uh, just wondering if they'll make any changes at half-time. Uh, Due to their lack of uh, penetration. Shots at goals, penetration at goals, and that. So yeah, they've got some good players on the bench. You make substitutions now, you're causing panic. There's no, no need to panic. Make, you're only you one make, nil down, Robbie. You make one or two, why not? Only one nil down, no need for panic yet. <laughs> 100%. In five minutes. So Christos Penendis in uh, extra time of that first half in the 46th minute. Free header from the corner that was disputed profusely by the Campbelltown defence, but it was there. The Tomazos was just having a chat with some of the crowd. Ricardo De Silva very intelligently played for that corner, and look at the end result. They have a 1-0 lead. Eric Forza Steely gets us underway for the second half. Olympic, if you've just joined us, kicking to left of screen in the all blue, and Campbelltown going to right of screen in the all red. As the ball's in the middle of the park with Mullen. He's back to Matthew Mullen from Alex. Comes wide. Matsumoto tried the dummy, but oh, well, uh, to the advantage Bowden. of Butler Bowden. Butler Bowden goes for a bit of a run, asking a bit of samosas. Too much of samosas in the end. And that'll be a goal kick and a very bright spot start again for Olympic. The second half. So it'll be a goal kick be taken here by Nicholas Harpus. Second half here at the... Velo Football Centre. Earlier on today, West Adelaide beat South Adelaide and Adelaide City lost to Parra Hills. So, very interesting down the bottom end of the table now. Croydon winning 1-0 against Blue Eagles. Metro's going down. They've had a horror four or five weeks. 2-0 to Raiders. And Parra Hills good win 2-0 over Adelaide City as Campbelltown. Pushing it around. Goes to Daniel Mullen. Harvey controls. Matsumoto looking for help. Back to Harvey it goes. Campbelltown just pushing it around, looking for an opening. Captain Fife. Looks for Daniel Mullen. Good promising move. Matsumoto inside the box. One way to go. Shoot! Oh, and wow. what a goal! Saw the opening and just cracked it. Into that right-hand corner, and what a play he is. Well, let's have a look at that goal again. I think it's caught everyone by surprise, and... Uh, well, Atkins, who's been, uh, Vaughan, sorry, I should say, who's been so good for so long. Wasn't just expecting it. Beaten near post. Much to more. That's exactly right. I thought the angle might have gone. The moment might have gone. But gee whiz, what a <laughs> rocket. And he could only parry it into the back of his own net, Vaughan, in the 47th minute. Matsumoto with the ideal response for Joe Mullins' team. True. That's why you don't make a change, Ryan. Coach Pepicelli. <laughs> gee whiz. <laughs> Well, we're back underway, and what a game we got on our hands now. It's <laughs> even Stevens. What a rocket by little Matsumoto. Vaughan, who's played so good for so long, just caught near post. Even the parry couldn't keep that out. As Campbelltown come again, Halliday gets his head onto it. Matsumoto plays it down, only to the advantage of Ponendis. Ponendis now, Harvey attacking him and seeing him over the line. And now, nearly, and nearly over the fence. Nearly. Little flick on now. Halliday chips the ball forward. Penendis in the middle of the park. Holds it up. Katopodis looking for the overlapping run. Spina gives it to him. Spina couldn't keep it in. Runs out of line in the end. Gee, uh, it's picked up from where it left off from the first half, Rob, this first three minutes. Just blistering speed by both teams. 
Yeah, it's been a good game. As Olympic with a throw in. Goes short. The silver looks backwards. Vangeli's there. Squares it to Matty Halliday. Goes for the switch to Butler Bowden. Toss it with Harvey. The 2-2 two is going at it. And Butler Bowden looks like he's come off second best. And it'll be a free kick to Campbelltown Red Devils. Right hand side of the park. Go into attack. It's a nice ball. It's hit the back of uh, Matamoto. Doubles back, does get to it. Alex Mullen, pirouette. Matsumoto, not a good ball to Wernburner. In the way, it's cool aim McCreed. It's like Matsumoto wins it, does well. Marino, Pichonari, <laughs> McCreed wins it. Samosas, Samosas has got the ball. He runs well. He runs, he saved again. He's got another chance. Oh, what a save off the line. Two. By the player. I'll try and pick him up. It's five. Captain Five has still a chance. Oh, Tomazos. They should have scored five goals then. <laughs> all in one. They could have put it in the back of the net. I think three at best there, but let's have a look at that on replay. Oh, no, what a piece of play. Samosis first to Cool Hammer Cretus pass. Beautiful. Did well because he was under immense pressure. And credit to Mullen for not bringing him down. First great save there by the keeper. Second by number oh, four. Five feet. Five feet. Five. And, and here comes the third. No, the, well, the third was just off target. Yeah, off target but yeah. Samosa should have done better with his first opportunity. He done well as a, as a striker. Cut off well. the centre back's line. And well done to Mullen. It shows why not bring a play down. But he's got to do better, though, Samosa. Don't take anything away from that save by Harper's yeah, two. Reflex save again. I think it's he's the man of the match. He's, set, he's kept him in this game. Reflex low at the feet. Great save by Harper. Samosa did all he could, Ryan. I think you're being a little harsh. Anyhow, it's with Campbelltown. This game's got everything. Tomazos gives away a free kick. She is it. You're right, it's got everything. Watch this on replay. Tomazos just clipping the heels there. Both a little bit of a push. So Red Devils switching play. It's 1 1 here at the Baylow Football Centre. Great game as uh, Coolham McCreedus <laughs> wins it. Trying to go to Samosas. He's been some player today. Yeah, hasn't he? Or tonight. If he had put a... He needs a gold X to his name, though, boys. Yeah, he might. He'll still get it. He's a harsh taskmaster <laughs> down hard there. Task you, you, you pay your strikers to score goals. Captain. He's had two great opportunities, three great opportunities to really put at least one of them away, and he hasn't. It's Corporal mm. Ryan. Captain to Silver Ryan. now with a corner kick. A nice float of near post. Couldn't beat the first man, and uh, it's Louis Detroit there putting it out of play. So it'll be a throw in. Six minutes gone this second half on the Green Play Australia time clock. Green Play Australia scoreboard Olympic one, Campbelltown one. What I liked about that passage, passage of play, though, though, was Matt Mullen, the centre-back. It shows you why you don't always need to just bring down a play. Have trust in your keeper. Put a little pressure as a centre-back. 100%. And it's a chip into the box. It's gone wide. Samosis there to collect for Olympic. G falls over his own feet. Still keeps the ball, wins the corner. No, yeah. says the referee. Yeah, good point, Ryan. Uh, that's right. Give credit to your defenders and your and your goalkeeper. And it would have been so easy to bring him down and give away a free kick out the box and probably get a red card red for card, it. But for sure. I've done the right thing and uh, they're in the game with 11 players still on the park. So it'll be uh, Nicholas Harper's status goal kick. It's been supreme in goals. So it's... Uh, which is it, left side of the park. Back out of there by Marino, no one moving though. Easily taken here by Vaughan. Keeper for Olympic, goes to Matty Halliday. Butler Bowden. Matt Halliday looking for Tomazos. Cleared. Matty Halliday getting the header there. Also Daniel Mullen by Macritus. Wins it. The silver turns, balks, goes towards the line, and it's cut out over the sideline. It goes for a throw in to Olympic. Far side of the ground, one apiece. De Silva has the ball at his feet. Does the pirouette, as Rob would say. Two red shirts to beat. Wins the throw in. Goes backwards to Butler Bowden. Halliday, <coughs> excuse me, Halliday in the centre circle. G 
chips the ball forward. Tamazos was there, but Campbelltown clear it. Halliday headers it backwards. This is Butler Boat on this side, sorry, keeps it in. Macritus goes backwards. Vaughan now to clear. She left it late. <laughs> Ponendis heads it forward. Asks a bit of Tomazos. Harvey goes back to his keeper. Harpers in the all fluoro tonight. Goes up the line. Over the halfway line. Halliday heads it only to the advantage of Marino. Who backtracks. Has Mullen short. Ignores him. Goes wide. Could intercept there. But Vangeli first to it. And Olympic should come out of it. Oh, in fact, uh, gets a deflection for Chiwetis. Louis Detroit from distance maybe thought about it. Bounced away from him. De Silva now. The two tens are going at it. De Silva backtracks. Tricky player. Plays it up the line. Fortuitously, I thought. Uh, Katopodis maybe gave almost giving away free kick. Mullen did well to keep his feet. And they'll start again from Harvey. So Campbelltown with the ball. Just pushing it around at the moment. Matamoto scored a cracker a few minutes ago. Gets down the line, likes to run, found. and it'll be a free Close kick. Close to a card too, gee. He's to starting to get, he's starting to get uh, the better beaten. of him. Yeah, yes. he's starting yes. to get beaten a little bit yeah. now, Butler Bowden. He's done for pace there, and Butler Bowden didn't want to be beaten again. And so no card, no card. No card. Let's have a look at this again on replay. Sorry he was skinned for pace. Matsumoto was going to get by him, and just rugby style, Butler Bowden taking him down. Setting it free. If I was Campbelltown now, I'd be really trying to get Matsumoto in the game now. He's really starting to get on top of his game and really starting to work the fullback. And the fullback's feeling uneasy every time Matsumoto gets He's the ball. Quick. If I was yeah. Campbelltown, I'd be getting him in the game every time you've gone forward. 100%. That should be the outlet. Detroit over the ball. So Detroit will take this free kick, waiting for the wall to go to the right spot. Now he steps back. Is he going to crack it from there? Nah. He's going to cross, I reckon. Fife's the target. Daniel Mullins, the back post. Swings it into a low one, though. It's easily cut out. Oh, oh well done. Sold the dummy. Who's it done. Done. that, Vangeli? Oh, of course. Goes to Tomazos. Good tackle, though, by Pichonari. As they do clear it. Jimbo, it's yours. No. <laughs> Over the line. Just a couple of questions on the Facebook page uh, for Ryan. Ryan from Brenton Way. Are these the best two teams in the MPL? Fair call. Is For me, are these the two best teams yeah. currently? Yeah. Currently, yes. Currently what I'm watching. Vanessa Lucchese, great entertainment while I'm on the way to Treviso. It's a sure area. Treviso up north. With the family. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's Vanessa Lucchese. Beautiful part of the world. So it is uh, Olympic, left-hand side of the park. It's been a great game so far tonight. As they go down the line, in the way though, Campbelltown Red Devils defence, clear it. Halliday had to get rid of it. Kool-A Macritus. Cooley does it, back to Macritus it goes. Referee sees an infringement. Pretty interesting, let's have a look at that again on replay. Could have been the other way around. Can I just go back to the comment from Brenton Wade there? Currently, yep. of what we're watching, yes, but I would put comments close by because what we saw of them and what we've seen of them has been very good. They're, they're, these teams here are playing good football. These teams are here are looking sharp. They've got structure. They've got formation back from the back to the front. From the throw in Campbelltown now. Ball in the middle of the park. Quickly down the line to Detroit. Oh, Goes the overlapping run to Halliday. Halliday, he's got plenty of red shirts in the box, but it didn't go that way that quick. So he goes back tracking to Detroit, who now puts it in the box. Keeper comes, has to take. Didn't on the first. Oh, well did on the second. <laughs> and boy, oh boy. Took it off the feet. It had to be <laughs> spot on because that would have been a penalty claim for sure. Gee, mm. great by Vaughan if we could see that on replay. That was very, very well done. Maybe we'll go back to that, back to the live play. Hit it out there by, goes back towards uh, Alex Mullen. She somehow got it to Matsumoto, using his pace again. Try to cut it back that time. And uh, If I was a coach of both Olympic, Olympic and, and Campbelltown, the first substitutions I would be making is Tomasos for Olympic right, we're and just, Marino for Campbelltown. Sorry, Ryan, we're just going to go see that replay now as that ball came into the box. First take wasn't clean by Vaughan, but the second at the feet there well with Marino, he could have gone down. Gee, that was... A great save. Daniel Vaughan again. Well done, mate. 
So it is on the far side. It's Olympic with a throw in. Spina. Looking for some movement. The Silver's there. Trying to go to him. Katapotis was oh. there as well. <laughs> oh, that was an awkward one. went down. Is it Alex Mullen tussling in the middle of the park? Matsumoto. He did very well there. Matty Mullen. Switch is a big switch too. Can he find his marker? No, he can't. In the way. Campbelltown still with possession. Goes out. Detroit. Detroit, Detroit well, yeah. pushionary has been okay. Worked hard. And over the sideline it goes for another throw in. Quickly taken. They are looking better. Anyhow, Campbelltown in the second half. As it goes all the way back to keep it Vaughan. Vaughan switches it. Big long switch too. Looking for Samosas, but over the sideline. If, I was, if I was Coach Joe, I would love to see Detroit come into the centre as yeah, the number nine and All Right come on as a winger. I think Detroit needs to get a bit more in the game and he'll give a little bit more than what Marino's giving tonight. And All Right will give him that spark and that pace down that left hand side. Yeah, I agree with you. I think he's a bit wasted out there at the moment. But anyway, it's Joe Mullins call, not ours. It's Harpers now goes long. Gee whiz, is that a shot on goal? <laughs> What are you putting that I think, down you need, I think you need another stat column there, Paulie. Goalkeeper's try attempt on goal. <laughs> another Facebook, you like that one there? Facebook <laughs> message. Harry Panegas, love your work, guys. Best commentators in the country. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah, that's well, you know. big call. <laughs> we'll Robbie, don't it. get your head wobbled now, Robbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomazos now. He's uh, going for, for Olympic. Two red shirts around him. And uh, Harvey makes sure of it with a corner kick. And uh, that would probably be the first of the second half bomber for Olympic? No, the second, second. for the, the sec second half. Tomazos did very well there with two to beat. Got his team a corner. One apiece on the Green Play Australia scoreboard. And we've played almost 16 minutes this second half on the Green Play Australia time clock. So corner kick uh, for the uh, Olympic. High hold the silver. It'll be a right-footed in-swinger. Watch out for Penendez. He knows how to hit. Oh, McCreeders! Cool. McCreeders! Oh, what a sweet chance! Oh, oh. Katapotis! Is that a penalty? No. Oh, Referee ways play ball. on. Yeah, you're right. Make him McCreeders hit a ball. He can crack him. Right behind that. He's not only cool, he can certainly crack him. What a As it swift. goes to Marino. He, that's a nice cut back too. Across the face of goal it goes. Daniel Mullen. What a game we've got. Best game of the year. Goes, turns. Who's that? Detroyer. Yep. Try to cut it back. He wins himself. No, he doesn't. Top three. I don't kick. know. Big call, but gee whiz, I tell you why that shot by McCreedus. I don't know. We're going to see this on replay now. Watch this for a stinger. And the swerve on this. Credit to Harpus. I think Harpus would be exactly my right. Match. Look I, at I was going to say that, Paulie. Great work there. Oh. He had a mountain of players in front of him as well. 100%. Nicholas Harpus, take your hat off, mate. We'll give you a handshake from Ryan. No now, bottles of wine, but I tell you what. Nevin Blazika saying, Ryan, you've got no idea, mate. <laughs> why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I'd fair, like to know. Fair comment. Is it due Why to my that? coaching, maybe substitution? I would like to know. If Do you know Nevin? Uh, no, no, I don't know if he wants to. I'm foul. I don't have every. I don't. I'm not right in every situation. I do tell my wife I am right in everything, but not in my nine. Yeah. Not in I'd love to know what I'm wrong in. Please. So tell from me. the goal kick, it's headed. It's found Samosas who finds Katopodis who tries a three ball for Tomasos. Didn't come off, and Mullen read it best. Plays it short to Daniel Mullen. Goes backwards to the keeper, Harpus. He's had a blinder tonight. Gee, that was a great save by Harpus. Bro. Absolutely. It was save. swerving. As Detroit now has the ball at his feet. He's got to come more central. Oh, Beautiful play. Offside flag Ooh, up. Just so Marino caught offside. Line. He's got to read his line. <laughs> he went on that. Offside flag up against Marino and Campbelltown. Bomber that's at the first of... First offside for the second half of Campbelltown. Adelaide Olympic had no offsides yet. <laughs> and those, those stats brought you by Green Players throw. Thanks, Bomber. Almost 18 minutes gone. So from the free kick, Matsumoto cuts it out for Campbelltown. He's had a good opening to this second half. Goes backwards to Fife. Fife will start the rebuild for Campbelltown. From their defensive half, Tomazos goes to apply the pressure. And the ball goes back to Harpers. So now they've got to go long, Campbelltown. But Bowden will see it over the line. And there will be a throw into Olympic in their defensive half. Alan Harpers also says, what a save, Nick Harpers. Oh, funny and about she's that. she's saying, what a great game. 
It is a great game and could it was a great mum, save. Could be his, uh, but truly justified wife. comment. It is. As it goes out, Campbelltown in defence. Jake Halliday. I have to go back. No, it does a bit of a pirouette. Yeah. It's a few of those tonight. Yeah. Goes to Harvey. Harvey. G Olympic is still doing well. Tomazos. Left side. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. It's not much. It's a 63rd minute. Not a lot of action down in the substitute substitution bench. Wonder when that I wonder when Campbelltown will be making the sub. They've got a big game on Wednesday night. It'll be interesting to see. And reminding you... The viewers that they are part-time players, They've, most of them have daytime jobs. It's a big ask, but then again, these lads look fit. Two great coaches would be keeping their sides fit, and I think you'd just lift for those sort of games, Ryan, regardless of how tired you think you might be. The adrenaline takes over as now. De Silva takes over for Olympic, goes on a bit of a charge. Two red shirts around him, three red shirts around him. Does not win the throw-in. It is a... Campbelltown throw in on the far side of the ground in their defensive half. So Campbelltown with the ball. Jake Halliday throws it out. Good flick there by Alex Mullen. Olympic with the ball. Matty Halliday goes to Daniel Vaughan, his keeper. Ben Jelly, can he keep it in? Does so. Goes towards the silver. What balance he's got. He has. And he wins himself the free kick. Well done. Just look at that on the replay. He knew the free was coming. He kept his feet. And the only way you're going to stop him was going to be illegally. So to beat the silver with his free kick. We'll look for Penendez. The Marshall's up there as well. Up there it goes. Headed out though by the defence. Look like Daniel Mullen. Yep. Back heel. Back over his head there by McCree. The keeper has to come out. Does so. Does he well. takes his own player out too. Head challenge. Who was that that he took out? Matthew Mullen. I think Ooh. it was a head challenge with more of a shoulder to head or elbow to head. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Yeah, well, I think the ball sconed him. Got mm. him on the scone. So, nevertheless, awkward. Here we go. Yeah, a bit of ball and arm. Cleaned up. You do, you do tell your keepers that all the time. Anything in the box, it doesn't matter who's in the way, you've got to collect, collect well, that. And, and that's what Harpers did. <laughs> he he's done did. Everything your coach would ask for. Collected Unfortunately, he's collected Mullen on the way. Yeah. And he's defending. Fine. Bomb yeah. shot, sorry. I've got some scores around the grounds, thanks to Green Play Australia. White City Woodville leading three goals to one against Cumberland United. Earlier today, saw Met Modbury Jets defeating West Torrance Bercalo at one goal to nil. Seaford Rangers winning, uh, had a win over Salisbury United, two goals to one. Um, Playford and Western Strikers mm, haven't had a score update yet. And Fulham United winning three goals to nil against no longer United. That's in the State League uh, one. We'll give you the Premier League scores a bit later on as well as it goes into attack for Campbelltown Red Devils. Can he keep it in? Gee, good running. Alex Mullen, no. It's a goal kick. I'll give you those scores. Uh, West LA winning 4-1 against South Adelaide. Corning Kings 1-0 winners over Blue Eagles. Comets 2-1 winners over Adelaide United. Raiders, good 2-0 win over Metro Stars. And Parry Hills, Gee. great 2-0 win over Adelaide City. Vangeli and Mullen just going at or... Going at it with Eric Forts to Steely. Guess who won that discussion? He's not happy there, Vangeli. He feels that there might have been an elbow or a raised arm to the face when he was shooting the ball out for a goal kick. He's a passionate player, isn't he? He does uh, <laughs> like to complain a lot. So Vaughan with the Every game he does say something. <laughs> but he's, he's a great player. Fife now with a big clearance. Asked a lot of Marino. It'll come down to Pishaneri. McCreta's hot on his hammer. Pishonary, good turn. G, good overlapping Great run ball. by Halliday. Halliday's into the box. Has a shot Whoa. on target. Had to be saved by Vaughan. And Vaughan quickly releases De Silva. He goes short to McCreta's. McCreta's goes long. Asked a lot of Tomazos, who went the wrong way. And Harvey sees it over the line for a throw in to Campbelltown. Campbelltown Red Devils with a throw in. Still one apiece here. 23 gone, second half. Throws it out to Matsumoto. Back to Harvey it goes. Could have been a handball. Wave play on though. Oof. Gee. Easily 
taken off there, but the Macritas always cool with the ball. There's the Butler Bowden. Ponendas was there. Macritas again. The Silver. Here they go again, just pushing it around. They look really good when they do this. Trying to find the opening. Macritas again. And Jelly. Looks for some movement. Does go. The oh, eye of the needle, yeah. nearly. Didn't quite go through, but Campbelltown win the ball. And away they go. Go backwards, actually. This might have hurt himself. Is that Fife? That's no Matty Mullen. That's, he's doesn't holding look, his hand, isn't look he? Too Looks well, yeah. yeah. His wrist, hand. Oh, that's a flick on. Goes out Marino. Trying to find Daniel Mullen. Cut out, though. The silver. Big, long ball. No one there, though. Only uh, as far as Harvey. Ends up with Matsumoto. He's looking to go short. Leaves it for Harvey. So it goes out to Matty Mullen. And Captain Fife for the Red Devils. Goes to Jake Halliday. Back to Fife. So Campbelltown just pushing it around. Marino. Detroit hasn't really been into this game. Maybe he's come more central now, though. Alex Mullen. Goes out to Matt Mullen. It's the call you're calling the switch. Detroit. You're calling for. Goes out. It <laughs> looks in dangerous. Chance for Marino. Goes one way, then the other. But well defended again by Van Jelly. He's been good. And away go Olympic. Well, the call you wanted, uh, Ryan, may have just been done. To try a bit more central and saw something almost coming off it as it's Olympic now going on a run. Gee, great still by oh, Mullen in the end. Goes over the halfway line. Detroit wants it short, ignored. Pishaneri goes wide. Halliday back to Pishaneri. He turns, but turns it over as well as De Silva goes wide. Gato Podis couldn't keep Karatsis it in. Karatsis is coming Karat on, boys. I'd be telling you it'd be a straight swap for Tomatsos. It's a ball in the middle of the park now. Daniel Mullen goes back to Fife. To Matthew Mullen, who looks up. Finds Harvey. Still in their own defensive half. <clears throat> Daniel Mullen wanting to go for a bit of a gallop through the middle. The cuss comes to help him out. Alex goes back to Harvey. To Matthew. And we start again. So it goes out, Campbelltown Red Devils. Just slowing it down a little bit. Plenty of pace in this game. All, all night. As it goes out. Oof. Going down though. Olympic. Katapotis was there. The silver. Van Jelly. So Ponendas. Good ball. Good run there by Butler Bowden too. Goes back to Ponendas. Looks for support. Goes short to Macritas. Vangeli. They've had about 20 touches without the opposition touching it. <laughs> I think Campbelltown's about to make a change too. There's Ooh. Vangeli. Shot from far distance. And out for a goal kick. So Helen Harper says... You guys are amazing. Absolutely, hands down, the best commentators. There you go, boys. Tomato soft for Karatsa. <laughs> straight swap. Double change. And there you go, Marino. Man, I am a good coach, I think. Keep up the great <laughs> work. Boys, stay warm. We're trying to. We're trying. As Karatsa comes on, Tomazos goes off. That's and you can see Detroit is straight in the centre part of the Campbelltown spine. So no, all Detroit is moving to the wing still. All right's come on as the number nine. So what was the... Two uh, out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Two out uh, of three. Mark Marino off. Who came on, Ryan? All right. So both coaches going to the bench simultaneously. All right is a natural number nine. He has played number nine he's through played, his youth played days. Everywhere, isn't he? Yeah. Through his youth days, he did play striker. So it's one apiece. Game up for grabs. Three points will bring Olympic back to second. Who went off Olympic? Tomatsos. Tomatsos. And three points for Campbelltown will just about wrap him up the minor premiership. Mr. Silver just querying where to take the throw in. 
So Olympic have the ball. Far side of the ground on the halfway line. De Silva in dispute. Oof, Katapurit. Katapurit's got one in the chest. And the referee says no, just a throw in. So ball on the far side. Two balls on the park. Now back to Juan Vangeli. Jeez, he's just cool, calm and collected on the ball as well. Instructing to go back to the keeper. So Vaughan now will start the rebuild for Olympic. Goes long looking for Samosas, but Fife wins the aerial challenge. Detroit on the far side now comes in board. Switch of play. Gee, Ooh. Butler Bowden had to get Ooh. his head on that because yeah. Matsumoto was lurking. Done well there, both keeper and Butler Bowden. That you've seen that horribly go, go wrong yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah, exactly. As Vangeli, Olympic, trying to find Samosas. Harvey goes back to his keeper and Harpus. Jig well jump there by Vangeli. As they go backwards, Five. Captain Five. Left-hand side of the park. That was Detroit, I think. Yes, back it was. It's Matt, Hall <coughs> Matt Mullen doesn't look well. Oh, turnover! Ball. Karatsis, Karatsis has got it. Is he going to go all the way? But he's got three players there. Gets a nice-looking oh. pass. Oh. Almost found. Idea Samosa. was there. Idea was there. And uh, Samosas, if he got onto that. Whew. Would have uh, tested Harpus, you would say. Not he has be. faded out of the game a little bit, Samosis, though. Well, I think his supply has also dried up a little bit. True, true, true. So we've gone just over half an hour this second half, 15 minutes to go, and what an action-packed game it's been on the Green Play Australia's time clock scoreboard. Olympic 1, Campbelltown 1. Ball in the middle of the park now. As Penendez skies it, De Silva gets ahead on it, so does Mullen, the Daniel type. And the Alex type, but it comes to Samosas in the end, who tries to switch a play to Karatsis. Karatsis now can take on the defender one way, then the other. In the box, beautiful feet. Shot comes! Goal. Oh, oh, goal. What a goal, son! What a goal! Hernandez. Let's he's, have a look at that on replay. I'm telling you, boys, if he is not in the top three for Sergio Melta medalist <laughs> by the end of the season, something's wrong. You can't score 16 <laughs> goals from the midfield and not be in the top three. Well, let's have a look at the feed again. That was Karatsis doing all the hard work, but let me tell you, the finish was just as good. And there we go, Panetis a super close up. Bang with the left foot. Really gave Harpus not much of a chance. He was there and a roundabout, but not to be. Superb finish. It was. 76? 76 it was, Robbie. 46 what and 76. Player. You know, 2 1 goal. Olympic. But he can score with his head, he can score with his feet. And he's coming from midfield. He's yeah, 16 goals. I he's agree. coming from midfield. If he is not in the top three, I know there's votes all around, but he has to seriously be in the top three. Mm. He's not only coming from the midfield, he's come of age, I think, this season. Penendis. I think there's a lot of players taking votes from each other. That's there a was problem. a direct instruction, though, when Karatsis came on to uh, Penendis when he came on, is you have to get me in, you have to get me in. There was a reason behind that. Karatsis does create stuff. Yeah, he's he a did, very he good player. Well. Well. And a proven a good instruction there by the Olympic coaching box there by Sonus. What a season they're now. having so far, aren't they? Absolutely. Goes to Karatsis. The architect of the last. He goes for a bit of a gallop again, does Karatsis. Goes wide to Samosas. To Penendis. Penendis a little touch to Karatsis. Goes back to Halliday on the halfway line. Olympic in possession. They like the game in possession and fast. And they win the throw in. No passengers in this game. Gee whiz. Unbelievable pace. This has got to be in the top three of games we've done this season without a doubt. Butler Bowden now finds Penendis from the throw in. Couple to beat and fouled and wins a free kick for Olympic. Just uh, Is that a bit of cramp there Ryan that he's yeah, going a little to stretch? Uh, I don't know if he's holding his ankle. His left, his left was taken from him but he's holding his right so I'd say that's a cramp on the second. So free kick to Olympic. Robbie, what do you got on the Facebook? Oh, lots of people just uh, commenting. Nevin Blazica, can we get a shout out to Robbie Detroit? How you going, Robbie Detroit? Oh, <laughs> Robbie Detroit is another fantastic Sula, bloke, isn't Sula he? Patricus, what a goal. And Mike Smith, can you organise a goal, please? I can we organise a goal? <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean by that? For Campbelltown or Olympic? <laughs> Tell you what, there's been three tonight and they've all been of quality. And Ricardo De Silva has the ball now for Olympic. 
A beautiful floater of the ball into the box. This will be dangerous now. Campbelltown have to be awake. Goes near post into the wall. Try to catch him out. Carter to Silver showing good pace. But equally, and that's a uh, cool hammer, Cretus. Equally as fast there was pish in area as that ball's gone, as you can see, onto the roof. Are they solar panels on that roof? I believe so. Yep. So right-hand side of the park. Yeah, they are down. solar panels. There you go on screen. Thank you, camera lads. <laughs> Best to throw in. What a game. All right. Matty Mullen. This is a preview of the grand final, I'm telling you guys. As it cuts back. Oh, great header by Vangeli. In the way, it's Ponendas. Have to be man of the match, wouldn't he? With two goals. Vangeli, Harpus with the saves. Jeez. Goes towards uh, Daniel Mullen. Ooh, oh, not a good ball, yeah. though. No, that's okay. Can't quite find Matsumoto. She was 10 minutes of normal time to go. This game has flown by. Action aplenty. Skill aplenty. In the top three of games covered this season. Samosas couldn't control it. Mullen can. Fancy feet. Karatsis goes to be a nuisance. Be a throw into Campbelltown. Harvey to take it on the halfway line. Finds Daniel Mullen. Daniel Mullen with three blue shirts around him. Wins a throw in. So take two. They've gained some meterage. Harvey. Back to Mullen again. She almost gave away the free kick and the assistant getting involved and says, yes, that was a foul. Against Macritus. Cool hand, as Robbie calls him. Another foul conceded by Campbelltown Bomber. Foul count. So Campbelltown conceded three, LA Olympic five this half. And those stats are brought to you by Greenplay Australia. Very clean game too by those stats. A couple of comments on Ponendas is there by Jay Ponelan. Christos, Christos is a freak. In the nicest possible way. Oh yeah. He's a so throw into Campbelltown. Play. Matsumoto. Handball. Illegally controlled says the referee. So free kick to Olympic and this should put him deep into attack. 35 and a bit gone this second half on the Greenplay Australia time clock. 2-1 in favour of Olympic. So Olympic can they hang on? Or could they add to it? How many consecutive games? It'll be the 15th consecutive games they haven't lost. Their last loss was to Campbelltown in April, 4-1. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 11 rounds ago, I think. They might was. have avenged that. They could avenge that tonight. Can they hang on? Still nine minutes plus time on. As it goes out, Campbelltown Red Devils do clear it. Towards the centre of the ground it goes. McCreedus, he's had a great game too. Goes out to De Silva. De Silva. Oh, nice. I hold De Silva. Goes to Samosas. Oh. He goes, oh, I thought he went down. but No, the, Halliday did very well. Did well. Keeps it in. Or is that a corner kick? It is a corner kick to Olympic on the far side. Let's see Halliday's uh, interception. Still cold. You've got the blanket in. <laughs> you got the gloves, the scarf. Got everything. So there's a corner He's on the far shaky. side. <laughs> the silver. Right-footed out swinger. It's a low one. Chance for Olympic. Clear by anywhere. Campbelltown. All Going right. for a run is all right. Hit a roadblock, though. In the way, it's Macritus. Up in the air it goes. He was looking for De Silva. Campbelltown. Detroit. Still, it's Campbelltown with the ball in the back line. Trying to go into attack. Chester down, Van Jelly. He's been up there too, hasn't he? Absolutely. Oh, Vaughan. Lucky. It's a worm burn of clearance. Mm -hmm. Straight to, uh, luckily, to Ponendas. Karatis goes down. Matsumoto does a dance. Still with the ball. Tries to go left side of the park, over the sideline for a throw-in to the Red Devils. So on the far side of the ground, Matsumoto just shy of the halfway line. Looking to put Campbelltown deep into attack. Detroit comes to offer something. That's ignored. Goes the other way. Goes backwards, in fact. As Mullen comes now through the middle of the park. Samosas gives away the free kick. Disputes that decision. But referee has the final say. And the most important say. So free kick in a somewhat dangerous position for Campbelltown. They trail 2-1. 
and we've played just over 38 minutes this second half, seven minutes of normal time to go, plus whatever the referee sees to add on. It's on the Green Play Australia time clock. As we mentioned on the Green Play Australia scoreboard, Olympic 2, Campbelltown 1, 6th versus 1st, and with a win here tonight, Olympic can jump to 2nd. So to pick the Troyer, sussing it out again, then he steps back. He might go for this. Maybe. No, he chips it up. Looking too far, though. Definitely something for from Harvey. the training ground, but didn't come off. Mm. And it'll be a goal kick to Vaughan. We'll take his time. And we're Same. going to the bench. Yep. And this is uh, Jacob Williams to come on for Campbelltown. Detroit is off. You're kidding me. <laughs> I don't blame that. He's had yeah. a quiet night. He's had a quiet night. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a terrible substitution. Mm. If you're going to take off a winger, he would be the winger that you'd take off out of him or Matsumoto. But looks like All Right has moved to the wing and Williams has now gone into the front as the number nine. Unless he's uh, maybe saving him for Wednesday night as well. Joe Muller might have an eye on Wednesday I night. I don't think so. Matsumoto gets a head down. Williams straight into the action. Macritus, Katopodis. Butler Bowden up the line asking too much off Samosas and that I'd say was a poor ball by Jacob. And it'll be a throw in to Harvey for Campbelltown. In front of the grandstand here at the Velo Football Centre. Our match day sponsor today, Velo Lighting. As Williams through the middle of the park, two blue shirts. Oh! Oh, oh he that. didn't need to do didn't that. Didn't need to do that. Oh, Ponendis. And Williams... Let's have a look at that on replay. That was ugly and untidy and didn't need to be done in the centre circle. Yellow card, Penendez. And in the 85th minute. Yeah. Exactly. And he won't get his three votes today because he got a yellow card. Oh, Robbie, you're such a hard man. I'm telling you, referee told me that last week. First yellow card to Olympicus. <laughs> now they have some defending to do and Vaughan comes and takes in the end to save the day again for Another Olympic. substitution here for Olympic. You can see... Brown is getting his final instructions there from Sona, so they're going to be chucking on another defender's sort of shut-up shop. Mm, true. As so Campbelltown with the ball. Matty Mullen, he's still favouring something. Yeah, Leah, he? his wrist, his should, right wrist. take him off. His right wrist, he's Why holding Why would you it. keep him on? To do further damage, huh? Oh, it's not a game played with the hands, Rob. He's not the yeah, goalkeeper. Yeah, I know. Well, you can't run if it's broken. Anyhow, it is McCree's trying to get to it. Jake Halliday. Fife. If it was broken, Robbie, I don't think he'd be on. I think it's just maybe badly sprained, maybe. Mm. Could be a fracture. <laughs> Dr. Pepicelli yes. now. Yes, <laughs> you never know. Man of many talents. <laughs> this is Olympic with the throw-in. Can they hang on? They are leading 2-1. Here at the Velo Football Centre. Funny looking flick there by uh, player that came on to the Williams. Park. Williams. And it goes out for a throw-in. Red Devils with a throw-in. Two balls on the park again. Interesting, interesting there. Brown's put his bib back on. Something's obviously happened Ooh. down there. Matsumoto. She's got pace. Cuts it back. Oh, not good. Not good enough. Maybe he was trying to shot from there. <laughs> no, it's just the clock becoming time, becoming, becoming the enemy now, Rob. And the back of their minds, they not making the rational decision from earlier on. Campbelltown in top spot. Mark Nenick, good point. Olympic has great depth in the squad. No Fausto Edeba, but we have Christos and others. Bring on the next FFA Cup game. Mullen gets ahead on it. The Daniel type, Fife. Looking for Pichoneri. Good control. Did well to keep hold of the ball. Fife again on the halfway line under pressure. Goes back to Pichoneri. Campbelltown come again. Can they salvage a draw from the game? They trail 2-1. Mullen goes straight down the line. Finds Williams. Halliday hot on his hammer. Fife eventually has the ball at his feet. Goes short. Pichoneri went wide. Ball now on the far side. is with all right, but it's turned over. Olympic come away with the ball. Played up the line, but they ran out of line. You wouldn't know they played Wednesday night. Got an interesting thing about uh, if Adelaide Olympic in the next round get an A-League club. I was speaking to a few Olympic mm. uh, supporters would be, I'll tell you, after the end of this game. That's a good comment you made. You couldn't tell that they did play Wednesday yeah. night. That's what adrenaline does, yeah, I think. They are 
playing magnificently. Oh, a fit Camertown. sign. And Camertown, is that a worry? This could be their second loss in a row. As Halliday clears the ball over the halfway line, only as far as Mullen. They'll come again through five. Five now. 43 and a bit gone. Time the enemy. Williams lays it off. Pishinari attacks the defenders. Trying to through ball. Too many blue shirts in the way. Should come away with it. De Silva plays it up the line anywhere. Samosa said, I wanted it at my feet. Didn't get it there. A minute and a half of normal time to go. Campbelltown trail 2-1. They come again. Daniel Mullen looks up this time. What's on offer? Plenty of red shirts in front of him. Go short. Matty Mullen goes wide. Halliday backtracks on the halfway line now. Harvey, what can he do? Can he find some penetration? Goes down the middle. Williams lays it off. Butler Bowden almost intercepted it. They get in each other's way, but Matsumoto comes out of it eventually. Jeez. Matsumoto's in the box, but cleared. Only as far as Daniel Mullen to Matthew Mullen. Or now Matthew Mullen, sorry. Chips into the box. Too close to the keeper. And an easy take for Vaughan. So Vaughan just takes his time. Approaching time on. Be a great victory for him. Olympic. Go, go to second spot. As uh, they go short, Campbelltown. Captain Fife finds Harvey. Harvey goes short. Daniel Mullen. Matsumoto. Alex Mullen. Trying to find an opening. Campbelltown pushing it around. Matsumoto again. Looking for Pichinari, but good work there by De Silva. Clears it. Keeper comes out, though. Goes short to Matty Mullen. Left-hand side, finding Matsumoto. They go into wards as it's cleared by Katapotis. Over the sideline it goes for a throw into Campbelltown. It was a good run by Halliday, but he played it to the wrong player. It was off the side of the boot. Kato Podis puts it out of play. So take two, but a lot closer for Campbelltown to goal. We're into extra time. We've played 30-odd seconds of extra time this second half. All right now for Campbelltown. Plays it to Harvey. Looking for the equaliser. Campbelltown into the box. Mullen heads it back. Here's a chance, but it's Ooh. been intercepted. And jelly. And now they should come away with it, but they don't. They're just playing very deep at the moment, Olympic. They're letting Campbelltown come at them. It's all right, tries again. Halliday, the runner, back post, header, near oh, post, and it's out of play, goal kick. They're playing with fire at the moment, Adelaide Olympic. Yeah, I think they're playing too deep, Ryan. Mm, same, I, I think I think that too. I think they should have put Thomas Browning, because Samosas is, uh, has run it, he's, he's done. He, he, they should have made the substitution with Brown. I don't know why he's coming on now, but I think lucky, lucky for, the, for them, it has, hasn't gone... The other way, because the so, substitution should have made a bit, been made about five minutes ago. So we're going to the subs bench now, just to soak up a little bit of the clock, as you Samosis can see there is coming on screen. Off now. Samosis coming off for Adelaide Olympic, who lead two-one over the league leaders, Campbelltown, and uh, it's Brown coming on. You say, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. We see De Silva's going up in the front part. They're probably going to be playing five across the back. So almost two minutes of extra mm. time have gone and both teams have only made two subs. Only one goal this half, so... You see another minute, maybe? Three minutes maximum. Mm. Yeah. So, referee having a bit to contend with in the middle of the park. The live ladder has uh, Olympic four points behind Campbelltown. Gee. So Vaughan with the... With three rounds to go. The goal kick. Penendis, the target. Butler Bowden, anywhere will do at the moment for Olympic as Mullen under pressure... From Penendis, be careful, you're on a yellow car, Penendis, as Butler Bowden clears it. Thomas Brown's up front, boys. Maddie Mullen goes to Fife. No, Why not? A bit of nosebleed or what? <laughs> Fife under <laughs> pressure from That's Brown. That's what they need. That's what they need. That's exactly what they need. Good coaching and good tactics. <laughs> He's just running ragged. Well, that's good because I let him come too deep before as Williams exactly the target. Right. Oh, good intercept by Butler Bowden because... No, look, he's got the ball, maybe. Oh. Well, the keeper comes, Harpus. It's out of his box. We've played almost three minutes of extra time. Halliday just hacks the ball forward. Williams. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it too close to the oh, goal? Oh, went for the volley, oh. but off target. That would have been a spectacular goal had it come off. It didn't, and that could just about be it. Speaking of that, Paul, that is great 
coaching there. They needed someone up front because they were sitting way too deep. Even though he's a centre back, just do your doggies, close down the player, put a little bit of pressure on him, and 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 yeah, great coaching there by George Sonis. Hundred percent. This could be it. We've played our three minutes plus of extra time as Vaughan goes long. Olympic supporters want that whistle, but a Campbelltown might get another Ooh. chance. Williams making a nuisance of himself, but this should be cleared and is over the halfway line as Brown now heads it. Try to find the silver, couldn't under pressure. Gee whiz, we're almost going for four minutes of extra time. Where did that come from? As Fife is under pressure, that'll be a foul. Not given. Karopotis to Shoot. Brown. Brown centers it for Penendez, and it got there. I didn't think it was going to get there. Karatsis should just soak up the clock, but he wants a goal. I think Karatsis goes for shot and just wide of the upright. Good on you, Jimmy. Johnny, I should say. <laughs> Jimmy. Wrong one. And That's there it. is the full time whistle with four minutes of extra time being Ooh. played. And Olympic. Run out winners, only yeah, selected we'll by one of the four commentary team tonight. And the form slump. I'll just reinforce that last did you, comment. Did you pick it? Yes. Well done. The only one of the four. Well, I said 2-2 two, two draw. No, no, not, yeah, yeah, far off, but not far off. Oh, that's your first pick for the season. <laughs> <laughs> I think Robbie. I think it's uh, Robbie and Bomber have got the drinks tonight. They're the wrong picks. Yeah, we'll, we'll shout the drinks. Who do you want me to go to, boys? Well, um, I reckon Christos Ponendis, he's in been brilliant form. We'll, think of, we'll see yeah. what he thinks of his game and some immediate reaction from the winning team. Advise him, of course, no presentation to be so made and he's not necessarily the man of the match, Ryan, but just we'd like to have a chat with him. So the live ladder has Campbell on 37. So next week, we've still got three rounds to go, haven't we, Paul? Yep. So it won't be the decider of uh, if they're going to get minor premiers, isn't it? No. No. If they would have won tonight, they probably theoretically would have been minor premiers. Mathematically, could still be cat caught. Mm. And, uh, gee, George Sonis, great coaching. What a fantastic rookie uh, breakout season for him. They could win the premiership next year, next week. <laughs> next year. Depending, depending on the other results, obviously. Very entertaining game for those of you watching through Facebook Live or YouTube Live. One that I'll definitely go back and watch. Yeah, it was just so great fast. Game. Yeah. So fast, very skillful, and... Uh, We'll shortly go down to Ryan as Bomber collates the stats. We won't go through those stats quite yet, Bomber. We'll just get Christos wired up for sound. Scored two goals tonight, Christos. Received a yellow card. But I tell you what, he's in the form of his life, I think, at the moment. We'll go down to Ryan with Christos Penendez. Congratulations, Christos. Another great game, yeah? Two goals. You score with your head. You score with your feet. What are you going to score with? Oh, I don't even know, to be honest. Anybody part works. <laughs> as long as it goes in. Speaking about your form, though, you, you're in some great form. I was only saying that you, you're from midfield. You've scored 16 goals. You're, you're a joint leading goal scorer. You've got to be up there with the top top three players in the league currently. Oh, look, that's not for me to decide. That's <laughs> for everyone else. Um, I just do my job for the team. You know, they put it on the platter. I try to score it. That's the job. Well, speaking before pre-game there, what, what are you guys going to be like? You had a tough game Wednesday night. Yeah, 4-3, uh, but, you know... you. You had to fight your way back in that second half to get the result. We're, we're interested to see how you boys were going to come out, but you wouldn't even know you guys played Wednesday night. Mm. Yeah, look, the first half we came out on Wednesday, a bit weak, a bit soft, a bit slow, and we made mm. sure that today we just came out firing. And if we started off really, really well, we knew we'd get into the game. You know, so it worked well. Great experience Wednesday night? Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, good crowd. First team from Interstate. Completely different ball game. They played completely different to us, so it's really, really good. Speaking, speaking. you guys are sitting second now. You're four points behind Campbelltown. The sky's the limit for this team. You guys are now in the round of 16 for the FFA Cup. You're, you're sitting second, four points behind. Did you? Could you imagine at the start of the season you got together pre-season? I know everybody wants to do well in the season. I know you all want to win titles. But really, truly, did you really have that belief in that squad? Uh, I think we did, yeah. I mean, the past four or five years we've been getting better and better. And pre-season we said, you know, we want to finish top two, you know, if not top. Wow. And... We had those goals. We've worked hard a whole year. Um, we've been motivated, and yeah, we, we did believe it. Yeah. What was your recipe for tonight? To to come out looking fresh like you did, to come out really firing from the blocks. What was that re recipe for tonight? You obviously trained Thursday night after after Wednesday night. What what was discussion during the week? Uh, look, we came in Thursday. It was a 45-50 minute session. Just make sure we recovered really well. Everyone did their own thing at home on the Friday. And yeah, the recipe was motivation. You know, as you said, sky's the limit for us. It's been a couple of games we haven't lost. So after the final, after Wednesday, you know, we just came out firing, full of confidence. Expectations now for the season? What, what, 
title or nothing less. What what are your are your goals changed as a team now? You sit you know where you are as a season as expectations change. What are your expectations? What is the bare minimum for Adelaide Olympic this season? Oh look, for me personally, I think the bare minimum is second. We've got it. We're in good form. We keep it. You know, it's in our hands. Um, obviously, we're aiming for top. You know, as you said, they've lost two in a row now, Campbelltown. Mm. They've got a game Wednesday, game Saturday. It's only four points, three games left, anything can happen. That's right. Yeah. You let out a big scream at the end of the game. Was that win, what does that win mean for Adelaide Olympic? Is it because you beat Campbelltown, who are league leaders, or because of the sort of form you guys are in? Oh, both. <laughs> Let's be honest, both. And that was probably the hardest game we've played all year. Just physically running. We ran so much. Um, and yeah, it was just, yeah, beating the top team, you know, in the form we're in, keeping that motivation, keeping that role going. So, yeah. Talking about, though, we were just saying that's probably one of the best games we have covered all season. It had everything. It had goals. It had tackles. It didn't have rough tackles. It had solid tackles. Two good teams going at each other. It was a great spectacle. Yeah, look, I think personally that's probably the best game that's happened all year. It just felt mm. like it, you know. The skill was all there. You know, ball, ball, uh, ball possession, everything. It was just unbelievable. Really, really good hands playing. Another player that we've actually really enjoyed watching since he's come into your squad is Vangeli. What's he added to your squad? Experience, maturity, leadership... What's he added? Because he's actually a great player to watch. Yeah, all three. He's so calm on the ball. So when the ball goes back there, we've got so much confidence in our defence, especially with Matt Halliday there too. Like, unbelievable confidence with them. Um, but yeah, that leadership, he's talking. He just talks and talks non-stop. And you know, he'll be in our defensive half and you can hear him up front where I am. So just, yeah, that experience is so helpful. One player I really do want to interview even at half time, but I don't know about his English as a spinner. He's a, he's a war horse. I don't think that bloke ever stops. He did a passage just up here. He ran from back here, ran all the way up there. The ball went out. He ran, he ran all the way back. The bloke does not stop. To be honest, he came in pre-season. He was the exact same. He has been that fit the whole entire time I've known him. English, probably not the best, to be honest, yeah. I'll um, leave it, I'll let it yeah, go. so long as Ricky's here to maybe <laughs> translate, you can probably interview him, but oh, he runs non-stop, and he'll get to training on Monday, and he'll run just as hard. Just, yeah. There's no recovery from him, he just goes and goes and goes. Is he, is he like your first name on the team sheet? Oh, yeah, he has to be. He just runs and <laughs> runs and runs. Um, obviously, with so many games, we're trying to change it up and freshen up, so, you know, he's been on and off the bench um, for that reason, but yeah, why wouldn't you pick him? He just runs. He's so good. That's <laughs> the thing, you do change it up a little bit. Tomatsos came on for Karatsos, you got Alexandria on the bench. You guys are starting to add some depth now into your squad. Yeah, I think now we've made a name for ourselves Olympic. People want to come to our club, people want to be part of what's going on here, um, and yeah, that depth is so helpful, especially <coughs> now we have the Wednesday game, you know, we have to make three, four some changes to be fresh for this game. Boys, you want to ask this player, yeah. Menendez? A few of your hard-hitting questions. <coughs> I'll tell you, Christos, the uh, top position is not that far. You know, like you said, four points behind. And Campbelltown, you know, they've got West, West Adelaide next week. They've got a couple of hard games, Comets and Croydon. But you guys, Adelaide United, West and Parry Hills. So, yeah, you look, know what? I mean, it's the last three games. Anything can happen. Yeah. I mean, every game in these leagues is so hard. Um, and, you know, next week against West Adelaide that they've got, that's a tough game. They're battling for relegation. And yeah, we got West Adelaide the week after, yep. so it'd be the same for us. So anything can happen, yeah. Christos, you've, you had a, you've having, you're having a fantastic season. Um, how have you seen your season personally? Is it one of your better ones? or? Yeah, it's definitely one of my better ones. I think it's the fittest I've been in a while. Uh, GT's preseason was very hard, so I'm a lot fitter. Um, but I think it's the confidence the boys gives around me. You know, um, they believe in me. You know, they give me the ball. You know, they work off me, and that's that's what I need really. Just confidence in my players, and that's all. So, that what about having Samosas up there as well as a bit of a target man? He looked on fire tonight. Yeah. Him and uh, Erba, could they? Could you play with both of them up front at one point? Oh, look, I'd love to do that. That would be amazing having both of them in front of me. Oh, it would be a dream come true. <laughs> um, but you know, it depends what formation we play, who we play. Um, which depends who plays, so yeah. Can I ask him about the tackle that got him the yellow card? <laughs> we were just talking about Where did that come from? Because you're 2-1 up, late in the game, halfway line. Was that just, uh, what was that? <laughs> oh, look, that wasn't even me thinking. It was just It's a I, brain freeze, yeah, that's all. Yeah, look, I knew there was two, three <laughs> minutes left and my legs were tiring. I knew he had turned me. I, the last thing I wanted was him to break through, so I thought, you know, professional foul, get him down, reset, you know, waste and, a bit of time. And to have the luxury of Edinburgh not playing today, I know he had the red card on Wednesday, and also Alexandru didn't, didn't come on. He's a great player too. And some of the players that you've picked up for this season, like Alexandru, uh, uh, Archie's Van, telling him we've got to let him get Van in. Jelly. Let him answer this one, Van Jelly and, uh, and, and Simosis. It's been unbelievable plays that you picked up. Yeah, look, like I said before, um, you know, what's happening at Olympics is something special and, you know, we're getting better and better and people want to join, people want to be a part of what's going sure. on here. Um, and, you know, I've seen that, we've been here for many years, so the players that are coming is unbelievable and we just want to keep growing as a club, keep growing as a team, your GT's pushing that, pushing it, so that's our aim, to get better and better. Good on you, mate. Christos, thank you for your time. Yep. Get in and celebrate with the boys. Archie's just about going to throw the Euros at us, so uh, you better <laughs> get in there, mate. Well done and yeah, no, great, great season, mate. Great break. Oh, good, mate. Thank you, thanks. Champion.
He's on fire at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. His uh, form's been uh, good. He's been scoring goals. And, uh, gee, they, they could have almost won this one 4-1 tonight. It was 2-1, but it could have so easily been 4-1. Yeah, we'll just right. go through some stats. They, that, that they didn't, hmm. When Camelton came back to 1-1, you, you thought, thought they would drop? No, I they didn't. They didn't drop, did yeah. they? Yeah, and I think your comment... Good. Your comment of you wouldn't think that they played Wednesday night in an FFA yeah. Cup game. It's unbelievable. Uh, you could see that out there. They were just uh, it, their fitness. Is it a worry for Camelltown, guys? No. You don't think we so? said this at the start of the start of the season. Ooh, Every you. team got to, goes through a little bit of a form slump. Unfortunately, their form slumps now. Could it be a positive just before finals? Maybe. But I don't think you can't write this team off. No way. You look at this team, you can't write them off. I don't think we're writing them off, but I don't think they'd have too much to worry. But no, nah. I but think Robbie. Robbie's not. Ri- I think Robbie's slowly writing them off. No, no, no. no. no he was very confident nah, of being. Look at Mr. Peppercelli. Oh. I just had a quick glance at Mr. Peppercelli. No, you're right. The flag. The, you're right. the flag. The flag. This, this is which way is the wind blowing tonight, Rob? <laughs> no. I, I, Bomber, let's I'm have another stat. Olympic stats. at the moment. Yes, yeah, st- these stats. Uh, Full time stats are brought to you by. What about my stat? You were saying something about my stat. Oh, you said you had a stat for Rob. Yeah, I had a stat. Which uh, name now? In the Premier League, right now. Right now. The car parks. Um, how many car parks can? How many cars can park at grounds where you can watch around the ground? Or oh, how many grounds we can watch the ground? Where how many grounds are left that you can drive in and watch? The, that would just about be it. Is what I think your stat was. Is that yeah. right? Was it? And I'm glad with that as well because it, you, you want to add a little bit of professionalism in the game. You can't have that happening. Hundred percent. I know. Next year, come. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Croydon Ground, you can. Yeah, but Croydon's going to oh, be finished. Oh, it's going to be finished. You're right. And then next year, mate, um, if Cumberland goes through, Cumberland is still have got that. Uh, um, oh, that's yeah, right. Cumberland's though, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Cumberland won't, probably won't go up. It'll be White City and Modbury, I'd imagine. Speaking oh, of Cumberland, lines, speaking yeah. of grounds here, this is what I was going to say, boys. I was speaking to Adelaide Olympic. I said to him. Boys, you must be excited. You might be, be getting an A-League. You, you're wanting to verse an A-League club. And they say, well, not really, because at, at the end of the day, we won't be playing our game here due to lighting. We'll be, be playing it at Camelltown because they've got better lights. Now, if you want to do this FFA Cup, <laughs> it should be played at their home ground. This is a great stadium, great lighting that should be played. That is the purpose of FFA Cup. You can't just move the games to suit what... The FFA won. We'll they don't there. do it in England. <laughs> they don't do it in England. When a league, when a big Premier League club goes, they will travel to a Conference League club. You don't see a Conference League club. Oh, sorry, boys, have to play at Old Trafford because they got better lighting. That is the point of FFA Cup. You've got to get the local clubs and you've got to get them to their grounds. Just and it'll uh, be a disappointment if that happens. Christos Fernandez were waiting for him, but Daniel Vaughan, the goalkeeper, he's been on Facebook already. <laughs> he How said, does that work? He said, "Hurry up, we are waiting." <laughs> This is taking too long. Ask if he's having KFC for, or Hungry Jacks tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Daniel Vaughan. Bomber, let's go to those thing. stats. Come on, it's getting cold and... Uh, yeah. And we Rob's cold. cold. You're, I'm not cold. You've got the <laughs> scarf. He's got a blanket down here. I missed out on the heater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full-time stats. Brought to you by Green Play Australia. Adelaide Olympic had 13 shots, 9 on target four off target they considered 11 fouls they made four four corners they had three, six saves and one yellow card for Campbelltown they had six shots four on target two off target they conceded 11 fouls created four corners had six saves and three offsides and the two yellow cards I think they dominated tonight and they, they didn't give Campbelltown breathing space to play their game they kept this game in control Campbelltown had maybe about eight minutes, I think, where they had possession of the ball and didn't let Olympic get it. But Olympic played the game on their terms, at their pace, and they won the game. And the live ladder, guys, the top six is virtually set. Campbelltown on top on 37, uh, Olympic uh, on 33, Raiders on 32, Comets on 31, Croydon on 31, and Blue Eagles on 31. Out of the top six is Metro Stars on 25, so six points. Can't see them catching up. Or even Adelaide United on 25. Parry Hills on 24. They should be safe out of relegation. Now Adelaide City are on 15 points. Nine points behind Parry Hills. West Adelaide on 15. They will be fighting it out for the relegation. And we know probably South Adelaide will be relegated. Bomber? Yeah, just one quick last one. So the three games for Adelaide City and West Adelaide are South Adelaide, Metro, Comets, 
Mm. For West Adelaide, Campbelltown, Comets and Metro Stars. All Para Hills need now, Rob, is one point and they'll be safe. Well, I think they'd have to oh, have a bad fall from Grace. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that they'd yeah. safe. They'd have to have a bad fall from Grace. Oh, well, and that's and, and a pretty hard draw West for Adelaide, those. West Adelaide got a hard draw. Very hard. They? Both of them actually pretty hard. So right. Adelaide City got South Adelaide. Okay, so you think Westies are going to go down? I think Westies will go down. Gee, mm. former NSL winners to be relegated. Not for the first time we've been told. We hope you've enjoyed it because we certainly have this game. This round 19 action was thanks to Velo Lighting. I'd like to thank the LSA team, of course. Uh, Chappie and young Peter Barbos doing capturing the action for you. Rob, did you have something on Facebook that you're putting? Oh, no, Jim Manning is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's supposed to be working, doing the producing he's over there. Us. <laughs> um, of course, Jimbo keeping it together, and I thought he was. He's just watching Facebook and just pressing some buttons in the meantime, but he's got a lot to deal with. He um, did a good, great job. Our statistician, Paul Bombardieri, as well. And, of course, down there, the bottom left screen, Ryan Marvejo, our boundary rider, and your two commentators tonight, Rob Pepicelli and Paul Pelizzaro. We hope you've Keep enjoyed it warm. from the LSA team. Check out the goals at the end of this uh, broadcast. And uh, we'll catch you next time. But a great game where the home team, the Olympic, running out victors over Campbelltown. 2-1 Campbelltown, top of the table. Olympic slipped to six, but they now find themselves in second spot. We'll catch you next week from the entire LSA team. Bye. Good night. This is the second disappointing thing that's happened to me today. Well, thankfully, your RAA home insurance covers you for ceiling damage caused by a storm. Great. And your claim won't be a hassle for you because all our claims are handled right here in SA. Excellent. So what was the first disappointing thing that happened today? I won the meat raffle at the footy club. Oh. We do more. Get a quote today.